Boom! ATL 2024 Season 1, Day Number 3. I'm Rip. You guys already know what the deal is. We got some of the top Korean players from Korea here to play in a sick Tekken 8 tournament, man. Uh, we got Kudans, we got Ni, nee, we got JDCR, we got Mungja, we got John Ding, Lohai, Ulsan, Kakoma, etc. Right? So it's going to be a good one as always. I just woke up a little while ago. My voice is still cracking. Sorry. Uh, give me uh, give me a few, I don't know, hours <laughs> before my voice settles in, I guess. All right. Manjinga. I'm trying to remember the name of it before I start messing it up on commentary. Manjinga, handstand. Wow, just do it back 3-3. Three, three. Good challenge here. That's crazy. He's doing the Eddie combo that I learned. Like, on, like, day one. So, I guess the combo was the best one available. <laughs> I thought by now that it would have changed, basically. His down forward one uh, punish is also super good, Eddie. Kara still first round. I don't remember if Karas is always a Raven, though. And I'm, I'm confused about that. And that forward forward three from Eddie super good. Oh boy. Good defense there against uh, Handstand Low. Now he's got Manjinga, level one. Yeah, I saw the. I didn't watch the whole thing, but there was a podcast that's back to the uh, Eat Speak. And he had John Ding and Rang Chu and CBM on there. I only watched like the first 30, 40 minutes or something. But John Ding was talking about how with Eddie, he doesn't feel like he can get to Manjinga level two very often. Because it's like just one round, the rounds go quickly, and so he doesn't really get a chance to get it to level two. So we saw there level one a second ago, but I'm just gonna be kind of keeping an eye out to see if he gets to level two. And again, round four. level zero that time. Karth does not know the matchup. I think most people don't know the matchup. Like, I'm still struggling. Like, it's funny because I played this character, Eddie, for like a day and a half, and it's not that much moves to learn, uh, to use. So you're like, okay, I kind of understand it. But then when you start playing against it, it's like a blur. It's like, whoa, okay, I knew what it was when I was hitting the buttons. But when I'm just watching the character and trying to react to it, it for whatever reason, it's a lot harder to react to. And yeah, you can see his punishing's off. Karth's still figuring it out. Yeah, that 4 4 3 and to relax is good. And the other thing Spag was saying about the character is that it's much more high risk now. So, whenever Eddie's going for these lows, uh, especially like the relax option, it's, it's a big risk for Eddie if you do block it. But that kind of makes it better, right? Because that makes the mid mix up a little bit more viable. But still, risky either way. Yeah, damn. Oh my goodness. He has rage too. And he's got heat available. What are you gonna do here? He activates heat. Okay, I don't know about all that. He didn't do heat or rage, really. He just activated. I would have done, oh my God. Yeah, I mean, I think in that situation, like you're not gonna kill him anyway, right? So you might as well cash out as much damage as you can so that they're close to like a one mix up situation. Uh, instead, all he did was I'm going to activate uh, into heat so that I have heat available for Okazemi and then not do anything with it. So definitely, non-optimal ending to that game there for Karas because he didn't he could have cashed out with Rage Art he's a high wall splat he could have cashed out like a heat dash combo uh, just, just to get like a bunch of damage on the board right uh, I think Rage Art in that situation probably best <clears throat> because I think he would have did a grip of damage I think he would have had plenty of time uh, for Okazemi afterwards too Take a look here and see if there's nope, nothing on secondary screen. We're chilling. All right, game two. John Ding Karas. Resist and be eliminated. Round one. Fight. By the way, for you guys still in school, is this spring break yet? When is spring break? This is like usually around the middle of April. Holy damn it. One Jenga one. Are we going to two? 
bro. <laughs> That's cheap. Oh, he's got to two. Okay. <clears throat> he didn't get to use it, but he got to two. I wonder if Activate Man, I don't know if it wants to be stronger. Never mind. I'm just going to stop talking. I was going to say, I wonder if they should make it so that when he hits a Heat Engage or something, he gets plus one munching a level. That seems like it would be really cheap, though, because then you would just start around Heat Activate with Eddie. Yeah, it's probably a terrible idea. Wow. That was tight. Good duck. All right, Karsh has learned the matchup. Everyone told me that uh, down by three was trash. This was 4 4 3 instead. Better option, but still. It's hitting a lot. 4 4 3 all day. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You haven't been in school in many years. <laughs> I mean, I thought maybe we'd have one young person in the chat, you know? Is it just you as Eddie the perfect tricky, tricky machine? I don't know what the perfect 50-50 machine is. Like, what makes it perfect? I mean, he does. He definitely has 50-50s. He's standing after that. That's the hard thing to get used to. Atlas is hella not young. Woo, good duck and launch. Okay, okay. Cars is putting it together now. It's a little late here. Set point John Ding, obviously. No idea what spring break involves. I mean, it's just like break, you know, because I was just noticing like, uh, like usually during spring break, people are on vacation or they're, they're doing other things, you know, so it's, it's like a time of the year where things are just a little bit different in terms of schedules and availability. Good check down for one John Ding, 2 0 over Karis. And yeah, Karis was, he's still learning the Eddie matchup. Obviously, it's going to take us a while. Uh, you know, we, we saw John Ding last week with Eddie lose first round. So it took a long time for him to get to lose a bracket. Uh, and he fought really hard throughout the entire thing to get there. But it was one of those situations where because he's on the lose side so early, he had a billion matches, right? To even try to have a good result with the character. This time, starting on the winner's side of the bracket, much better. Who is this? Who is this Shaheen? Shaheen versus Knocked on Lars. Wait, you don't get the American style spring break? Like, wait, wait, you mean like even in school you don't get a break? Wow. Get him, Shaheen. Man, I should really try Shaheen more. I just can't get my myself to try him. Also, man, did you guys... I just saw Shaheen. I thought about this. not even Dubai, but... Did you guys see that rain in Dubai? That thing is crazy. Like, I was in Dubai just last year, so... I'm, I'm looking at pictures and videos of, like, places I've been that are just, like, flooded. I was like, what in the world? Hope you guys are all okay out there. Like, apparently... Oh, got him. That was... A, oh, he didn't get nothing. He's like a weird Dragonov law, right? He's like a Dragonov cross law. More like a Dragonov cross Lee than a law, but yeah. When Jaheen learns a real flip kick, that's when I'll pick up the character. <laughs> Damn, chopping him down. All right. Hey. You get a break with American Spring Break. It's like all current and girls gone wild. You don't have that. Honestly, I've never been to a Spring Break like that either. Maybe I've been missing out. Time to go back to school. Hey, wait, isn't that an anime character? I just realized, too, the Lars guy. Is that Alucard? Which is crazy, because I don't even know what anime that guy's from. Woo! 
That was a sick backswing blow. Yeah, no back one for you, sir. <laughs> Everyone always tries to swing in the second hit of some heat smashes. Got him. Three rounds straight. Very nice. This is looking like beatdown. Is there anything on secondary stream? Looks like nothing. That is Alucard from Helsing. You never got your what out? <laughs> your bops? Hmm. I gotta keep it down. Damn, I forgot. It's like four in the morning. My neighbors gonna be all pissed. It's just the morning for me. Today's gonna be a long day. Shaheen is. Oh, that's Mongery. Thank you, thank you. Phoenix Masher. Phoenix Masher. This is a sick name, by the way. Mongery. Man, the bracket is moving so fast. Battle. And Mungri's hella good. Not to be confused with the other Dracula spelled backwards character. <gasps> Whoa. All right. Stop breaking my brain. I didn't know all that. You didn't know it was spelled backwards till now? I didn't know that either. This guy's tricky. Oh. What the hell? Nothing. Here to use the heat. That's what I get for reading chat in the local game. Wow, good range. Man, I really want to go and uh, play in Korea for a while. Or Pakistan. I can go to Japan next week. But I'm not going to have a lot of time to play. A hey, beautiful back dash arc class full combo conversion. Oh, okay, I'll take it back. Not a full combo conversion. Also, you know what's his name? Um, Flo from Bandai EU. He's in Japan and he's hiking around Yakushima. Like I didn't realize that was like a real ass place. Uh, as a foreigner, of course. Like if, if you're in Japan, you probably already knew it, right? But he t he posted a picture on his Twitter of a giant tree that looks kind of like that giant tree in the background of this thing. So I'm I'm wondering if there's like actual inspiration from the real place for that tree in the stage. Damn, Mungui, heat running out. Good wild animal one counter hit confirmed. Block the shoe shine. Wow, I thought it wasn't countered. I thought he was just dashing forward. Good throw break. Set point Mungri. Yo, Alucard is Dracula backwards. <laughs> oh, man. I refuse to believe that three people actually only now realize this. Dude, I feel like I had heard it at some point in the past, but I totally had forgotten about it again, you know? the problem with having a bad memory there's a bunch of things I knew it at some point and then I will just forget but it's kind of fun you get to learn things like Alucard is Dracula backwards <laughs> it's running two all right Mungari over knocked on Lars dude you know honestly he was doing so well against him that I forgot it was knocked on Lars that's pretty impressive nicely done there Mungari Roadhouse reboot Mangja versus Lee 3. Oh boy, here we go. Buckle up, chat. Was that Sodom? Oh, that, I hope that's Sodom. But usually Sodom's name is written out in English. Maybe it's not this time. I don't know. I've never. Okay, so. I've never seen the original Roadhouse. 
So I've only seen the rebooted Roadhouse. And the rebooted Roadhouse was pretty good. Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Conor McGregor. It was, it was all right. It was fun to watch. Yeah, ATL.TW is always the link for the brackets. And this is day three. They have the dates and all of them listed there, too, when you go there. The new Dune movies are pretty good. Like, I'm not a huge fan of them overall, but I understand the appeal. And uh, there's no way that the old... I haven't seen, again, I haven't seen the old one. Uh, but I can't imagine the old ones are way better. It's too much of a technical spectacle. New one. Ninja. Oh, interesting. Heat person just a one two under. That way you have heat active afterwards. Chipping him down. Alternate board, DSS, slow. Wow, delayed every hit. Oh, after that spike you get none Of course you do. Why didn't I think about that? It's so obvious. I hit that um, last hit of the two 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 so much on counter it like that. And I usually just do down back three. I gotta pay more attention to that. Oh, you messed up nunchucks. Damn, just do it. Lee 3. Wow, cool combo. Oh my god, is he dead? If he had activated... Never mind. I was gonna say, if he had activated heat, he definitely would've won the round, but... Uh, didn't even need to, he was so confident. So DSS 4 on hit, back 4 is out of range. No, sir. John Ding lost to a Tekken King ranked player. Oh, no. John Ding and Kudons are in losers already. ATL is so wild, bro. I mean, there's so many players. Yo, Lee 3. He's only a TGS, man. He's being this god of law. God of Destruction Martial Law loses the TGS Lee player. That was, that was not, um, that didn't look like it was a very even battle, you know? It looked like Lee 3 was playing his game and Mongjo was trying to play his game. ATL is pretty strong. ATL is hard, bro. It is hard. Kudon lost to someone named Asuro. Interesting. All right, here we go. This is a good stage for Law. I like it. Oh, he tried size of 3 for 4 and started the round. Got floated out. It's rough. It is airborne. Low, but he tried the junkyard, bro. He's like, this guy's not a god of destruction. I'll try junkyard on him. Wow, committed to the duck for slide. Doesn't even get him off the wall. That worked out. Hey, hey. forward, forward, three. Good low prey, okay. Let's go, Mungja. That was interesting. I thought he was gonna heat dash there. He chose not to, and he just used nunchucks for Oki. Man, he's trying to use forward three one more, I can tell. It's not a move he was using a lot last time I saw him. And he's getting kind of wrecked for using it, to be honest. Oof. Hey. A lot of poison arrow usage right now. Good wall pressure and Lee 3, he's chilling. He looks so comfortable in the matchup. I hate it. <laughs> there you go. Nice step. Heat smash for the whip punish. And that's another thing too. Like people they they get the side steps and they're like, oh my god. And like we saw this, I think what turn around? I don't remember. We saw someone side step into Rage Art uh, as a whip punish, and it worked. But it's, it's a situation where if you had done sidestep in a launcher, you win. Like you come with a heat smash or into rage yard, you know? There's just a lot in this game to keep track of at all times, I think. Nice counter to 1 plus 2 here. Sidewall spot situation. Uses heat burst to realign the combo essentially. Doesn't get to the other wall. He definitely wanted that. 
Wall splat. Oh no. Disaster. He could have had more. He hesitated. What in the world? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Remel, 93's Remel, that's two two dots, I see. Start the round, no 4-3, heat activate, dragon hammer, counter hit. Oh, that's a disaster for Lee. Boom, 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 boom. It's the best thing about Wall. Oh, I like that dragon hammer slide there. Oh my God, he just went for it. And oh, they're never gonna pick that for Lee, are they? <laughs> All right, chip down, 50-50 for the win. Nice, ooh. Good call there too. He's matching it forward too. Fastest, best tracking. And relatively safest, right? Very nice. That's 1-1. One, one. McCroy TV wants to play. <laughs> oh, he's, he's next up, I think. All right, one apiece. Mungja looked much better that time. He has really good move selection. Like, I, f I feel like every time I've ever tried to do a heat dash into a dragon hammer, I die. <laughs> I'm like, why? Or I get hit out of it. Get ready for the <clears throat> next battle. That's just my problem with dragon hammer in general. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Wow, he had the sidestep right, actually. I wonder why that hit. I wonder if he did a delayed DSS forward one. Both heat timers going down. Mung just gone. Lee three. Heat dash at the last second. Almost two out of range. Blocks the slide. He's been really good deep defensively against slides. Oh, no way, dude. He didn't do nothing. All right, lead three, starting to crack under the pressure. Look at their prowess, by the way. 420,000 for Manga. 378 for lead three. Hey. Four to three, four pressure. Nice size to back for two. And Manga is trying. He's, oh my gosh, that was a huge whip. The forward, forward three there. I don't know what he, oh, he, maybe he wanted heat dash, but it's so far. Probably didn't get the dash he wanted. Carmi, good morning. We three heat. Wind down, you know, heat dash is coming. Four, four, three in a second. Good defense, dude. He is ducking for all these slides. Wow. One low kick gets a forward three. Hold these nunchucks and beat. Side step two. Yeah, he loves that for wall tech roll Loki. Ooh, that was cool. Ooh, that was such a cool combo. And they didn't get the Yoki. <laughs> wow, super cool though. Wow, somebody clipped that combo. That was tight. Oh, Mung just feeling it out. Gets countered forward, though. Lead three, big lead. Right now, everything's fine, but it's final, 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 final round. round. Mungja lead three. Oh, that was a good dragon hammer. Wall carry with a three, four. Wow, good call. He knew that was going to pop off the wall. That's why he did that extension there. Oh, he's got a huge lead. He's got this in the bag. Munja with the perfect. All is well. All is well. Martial law winning out here. Let's go, Munja. Um, oh, it's already over. But that's the person who beat Kudans. And then this is Chanel versus Lohai. Lohai still with the Dragonov. And Chanel with the Elisa, huh? So even though they fixed the Zafina backdash, Chanel sticking with Elisa here. This seems a little loud. Damn. 
double S tier. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh. Wow, the down four actually beat it, beat it out. Nice the time. Not gonna matter. Low high. Look at the dash of block defense there. That's good. Ooh, look at the double sidestep. Full launch here. What do you do this way? Oh, I like it. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's counter hitting everything. The late check got him out of there. Wow, heat smash. Look at him sidewalking out of the way for the heat smash too. Bro, that was a beat down game. We tuned in just in time. I feel like as soon as we tuned in is when Lohai turned up. Alright, Chanel, your turn. I think we got JDCR happening on the other side. Let's take a look. McCroy TV versus JDCR. Thank you, thank you. What was the clip? Low high defense is nuts. Yeah, he's good. JDCR with Dragonov. So in Korea, there's definitely more Azusen and Dragonov, right? At like really high level for those characters. Wow. I don't think JD expected to get a wall splatter there. Imagine that was a wall blast. Like, he was just lucky that it was that part of the stage, right? And now McCroy is lucky that it's that part of the stage. Pressure, one and two, heat smash. Into another back one plus two. Yeah, everyone's so scared about the down back three plus four. As you should be. What are you going to do? React. Good luck. Oh my god. Down back three? What the hell, JD? Up, up. Oh, he should just let it rip. Then he's really just trying to down jab after five four, down four, three, huh? Oh my gosh, a little delay there. Got him to hit a button. That's some character loyalty instincts right there. Hey. So turning later on today than Japan? No, no, no. We don't even have a LEYG tournament tonight, no. We had planned to do a four-week preseason. And that is Dunzo, just like McCroy is Dunzo for game one. Yeah, we're on break for a while, but we are going to have an announcement for something else we're doing. Should be this week. Uh, so yeah, I'll be, I'll still be streaming. I think right now, I, I just woke up like hour 45 ago. So after this is done, maybe I'll grab some food or something. And I'll just play something on my stream. I, I really need to play some Tekken because I'm going to Evil Japan and I haven't been playing. So I should probably start playing. Maybe I'll have a long Tekken session today. I would have played in TNS last night, but then I knocked F, I knocked the F out. <laughs> it's like I slept like crazy. But yeah, we got, I got a couple days more of streaming here. I said, I think I'm going to go spend Friday at my family's place, maybe, so that I can just go straight to the airport to them. I don't got to deal with Ubers and everything, you know? Then when I come back, I don't got to deal with Ubers either. Yeah. I'm trying to spend no time Ubering. Hey, 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 hey. Hell of damage. Round two. Fight. Damn, JD's uh, confidence level with the way he plays the Dragon Off is pretty crazy. Like, he's playing Tekken 8 the Tekken 8 way. It's just unusual for me to watch him play with this much aggression. Oh my goodness. Like in the past, it's saying Tekken 7, if you saw him attacking this much, you're like, yo, JD's going in, right? But now it's like, oh, he, he has to go in because it's, it's Tekken 8. And what's he going to do, sit back with Dragonov? You've been practicing Tekken? You got to teach me Nina, I still know nothing. Oh my God, that's so cheap, dude. 
Like, look, no one can block this. You know? Dragonov already had a stupid good low with down two. Why did he need down back deepers four? You know, now that Law is uh, down back three is minus 14, they might as well make it do as much damage as Green Shake as Dragon is down back three plus four, I think. Yeah. Seems reasonable. All right, McCroy are fighting back here. Not over till it's over. Hey. You don't know why they gave Dragon a power low infinite plus frames. I don't know, man. I don't know. Don't question it. Hey. One, two, one. I am so curious about how Nobi's gonna do. <clears throat> JD, two, zero. That smug ass walk Dragonov has afterwards. Like, <laughs> you can't hang with Dragonov. That's what he's thinking to himself. He's today. Crazy. Chanel, low high. He's still loud, isn't it? <clears throat> Set point low high Chanel not done yet. Although we got a we got a beat in the back. Hold on. Just ignore it for a second. They're looking at brackets. Hey. Look at the chip that did, dude. Heat mode channel. They're, they're gonna go to final final round. Low high still has rage and heat though. Oh no. Okay, okay, here we go. Final final, final round. Final final round. Chanel and low high. Took you straight there. <laughs> You've been playing my ghost? You've been training? Dude, this is like a weird remake right now because the main ATL team's music is behind it. Wow, Chanel's gonna do it, dude! <gasps> Backswing blow denied Chanel over low high two to one. Very nice. Nicely done, Chanel. Get ready for the uh, next you're about battle. to. Do you need to be tech and friend for that? Uh, you can add me if you want, but you don't need to. You can just go find me on the leaderboard. Oh, we got Azucena and Lily. Neither of them with Fang Wei. Azucena for Kakoma. Me with Lily. Ooh, the one two, oh. <laughs> hey, there was a hot fix, okay? There was a hot fix, all right? If Lee, if, if Nee, <laughs> if Lee. All right, look, one day Nee will learn how to sidestep and whiff punish Azu Center running 3 2, okay? I'm sure they'll patch it. That is crazy. That's so, this is my first time seeing Azu Center. That was literally the first time I've seen anyone sidestep it since the hot fix. And that's what happened. That's funny. Wow, Nee doing a great job with the jabs here. <laughs> hey. One apiece. Yeah, Nee's Lily is basically just sidesteps and jabs and downport ones. Alright, he's opening up the repertoire. Repertoire? Is that actually that word? Repertoire. Wow, running through whip right in his face. Bound? Okay. What do you do with this? You have heat and you have rage. Wall. Just went for the wall combo. What are you going to do? Heat smash? Yeah, had a big feeling there. That was obvious. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Sidestep from me. The combo was uh, heat smash. Pretty obvious there. And that's, that's what I've noticed from the Korean tournaments more and more the last couple of weeks is that people are sidestepping heat smashes a lot more. Wow, good defense there, man. Knee is fishing for counter big time. He's treating that like he's uh, Brian Thieves 4. What? Good call out, good call out. All right, Heath Match Kakomi, you can do it again. I right, can let it go with that. Oh, he did it again. <laughs> Final round. Game one. Wow. Evasive as hell. 
hold the spell. Safe, fast, high, heat engaging, power crush. Who would have thought that would have been a good combination of things to have? Good block. Yeah, and he's had enough of these down back fours. Heat smash, block this time. Walking at him into the low. Oh my god, it's crazy. Anyone's game. He still has heat available. Good punish with the 1 plus 2. First activation. Got to watch out for heat smash now. She's got a really far one. High, high. See what we're talking about on Twitter. Nice blocking the down back four. You can heat dash it. Kakoma duck the second hit, I think. Or maybe he tried to sidestep. Not sure. But knee gets game one. And that was a close one. Very, very close. It basically is Brian T plus four. Yeah. My ghost is crazy. Yeah, my ghost be shooting that shotgun. Down forward four from Lily. High crush, you cancel moving a stance. And you're wanting to do down forward four cancel to beat the forward four four. Could be. Could be. Ready for the next Why the hell would they say GG after one game, Kata? Shut up. Game two. Floor break stage. This is a good random for Lily. That uh, actually, I'm not surprised. I'll say I was surprised that Kakomo was sticking out with Azu Senna, but I think he's uh trying to see what will happen if he sticks to it. We actually didn't get to see him on stream last week either, so I don't know if he was using it last week too. Horse human first, what's up, dude? Koreans think that Feng Wei can't cut it, huh? I think they, I mean, this is one of those situations where they both could have used Fang, so I think they both opted to not go for the mirror match. And the first game was so close down the wire that anyone could have won, so I don't think they feel like, you know, now it's kind of switch characters and change what you've learned in the set so far. Like, you've been data gathering, you've been your losses. Nice 23 too. Wow, throw was a good choice there. Look at the defense. Mix, yeah, I was going to say, he was going to try to extend the, the mix like he did last time, and he was like, nah, jabs. Counter hit. Voila. No, Kakoma is definitely using Azusen. I asked him the characters he's running. He said it's like Fang... Azusana, Dragonov, and Kazuya. Oh, and he's got this. He looks so calm now. Nakoma's gonna need to find a heat engager. The throw. <laughs> well timed, well timed. Set point for knee here. Feels like Fang's at least represented in turning around at the top tiers. I think that people are just, they're they're trying to find out what's top tier. And so they're just like forcing stuff. But like at the same time, if you're main of the character, you can just main it. Like I don't think we're gonna actually know the real tiers of this game until like six months in. Like even these first results we're seeing out of these dojos and everything. Damn, that was sick. <laughs> he hit a button, he's dead. Very nice. Knee called out the heat smash with Rage Art. It's done. Two to zero. Oh, it's not done. One, three, two. Just do it, brother. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe he, he survived. It's because he did 
Azu Senna's Heat Smash, and she jumps into the air, so it's airborne scaling, so it doesn't get full damage. Uh, that would that would have been wild if he survived and brought it back there. But knee over Kakoma two to zero with the Lily over Azu Senna, and that means it'll be knee versus Ulsan later. We got a Brian. Oh, Multine infested. Nice. <laughs> These ATL tournaments. They're kind of hard. Kudon's 0-2. Yeah. I don't even think he won. A, maybe he won one game. I don't know. But he didn't win a set, that's for sure. Kudon's just like me. We're all Kudon's now, see? Mario versus the Black Widow. We put Kazuya in a smash, and now we've become smash. Ulsan is like the only consistent player. Maybe CBM as well. CBM is out, brother. CBM won, and then he's out of the tournament, like not even close to top eight. So I'm saying it's crazy. And multi, this is the first time I'm seeing multi is Brian in Tekken 8 too. Oh, he didn't want to do it. Oh, Agent Smith, that was sick. Nice, perfect there. Yeah, and you know, you guys are talking about Ulsan being consistent. Uh, don't forget, there was a hot fix for the character he's running. So maybe he won't be as consistent anymore, you know? Oh, what? Never mind. I should look at the bracket first. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly why I started talking about it. Because CBM's eliminated so early. Like, we're literally like one hour into the tournament and CBM and Kudons are out. <laughs> you know, it's like, dude, what? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. Look at the wall carry here, dude. Opted not to use the heat dash. Had the taunt there. I haven't actually seen the heat dash into wall crush. Nice mock punch. I was gonna say, I haven't seen the heat dash into wall crush into taunt. Like I've heard about it on Twitter, but I haven't seen it in tournament or anything yet, you know? And some people have said like, oh, you can get out of it. And it's not guaranteed. And those people think, no, nah, things hella good, so. I don't know what to think until I see it in tournament. Hey. Infested looking good here, though. Close out game one. Has heat activated first. Right back at you. Got him down 4 1. Excellent. Yeah, if you guys are new around here, ATL.TW is where you can find the brackets always. If you guys want to get out of the bright white screen and enter dark mode, you hit S on your keyboard for cinema mode. I think there's an S next to the full screen button or something too. To get into cinema mode, that's how you get dark mode essentially. Here on Africa TV. Mm -hmm. S for cinema. That's how it works, man. What's on the secondary stream here? Play and Joy versus Be Me. Victor and Lily, huh? Next battle. Another God of Destruction there. All right, let's see. Game two, multi-infested. Nina. See, Karma, you just got to play Nina like this. Round one. Fight. No problem. Just do what they do. Whatever that thing was, I don't know what it is. Damn, dashing to orbital? Don't do that. Mm -hmm. That move is hella damaged. Good low parry here. Look at this low parry combo. Oh, what the hell? That had to be a mistake. You're taking notes. Holy crap. That's a launcher off the... That's a... Wait, what? I need to look at that again. That's a launcher now? Whoa. <laughs> Don't tell him, Karma. We know you're actually infested. <laughs> Typing while she plays in Korea. 
Yeah, she said she moved recently. She said Texas, but maybe it's secretly East Korea. Ao rip. Anything major happened? Nothing major. Kudan's 0-2. CBM's out already. John Ding's out already. Wow. Oh my gosh. Damn, we had really good time throw so far. That's true. I wanted Texas. Carmia wasn't there. She claimed she was there. <laughs> Boom! Holy divine cannon. That was sick. Is that the name of it? it? Sounds so wrong. It's been so long since I said it. It's divine cannon, right? In my head, all I want to say is dragon cannon. Wait a second. Wait a second. What the hell is it called, Nina? The launcher you just did? The big one? I'm actually so confused right now. Where's my Steam Deck at? I don't think it's charged. Brother, what is going on? Azucena is dead? I mean, what about uh, Dragonov? Lohai's out. Crazy tournament. I mean, that's the thing. When you have this many good players in the tournament, like, in your head, you start thinking, like, oh, they'll, they'll lose to each other. But then they all, they're all losing to other people. It's like, huh? Casino gameplay? What in the hell, dude? Super Horong versus Shine here. Steve is the new meta. Maybe Horong is the new meta, bro. Between Yonarang, Edge, Super Horong. Also, I was told a while ago that. Like, I always, call, I always say his name is Yonarang, right? Because I'm hella American. But then they were like, you know, his name is like Quarong. I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. So she'd be like, Yonarang, like Quarong. I was like, oh, God. It's hard to wrap my American brain around it. A heat dash conversion, beautiful. Super Quarong. Looks like tonight's event is a bloodbath. It always is, but especially tonight. Exactly. That's exactly what's happening. Like, this tournament, it's always crazy. You never know who's going to win, really. And we've had some semi-consistent results when it started. So you kind of thought, like, oh, man, maybe this game is more consistent than we thought. And then you get to week number three here, and all hell breaks loose. You know? Wait, is Mungja actually out of... We still he looks so good today. I was like, oh, this is it. We're going to get a law in top eight. Yo, shout out to the ATL team for putting Mong John stream early so we can see Law. <laughs> they were like, he's not going to make top eight. Put him on stream early. Poor guy with his character. Damn, all right. Skyrocket, caught her in the air. Tornado conversion. Hey, okay, off the wall. Nice combo. Bro. You gotta work. You don't gotta work. It's like 8 in the morning for you. Wow, I thought he had the back. Punish? Nothing. Isn't that minus 12? I'm like, hey, good morning. But the game about to design itself is volatile, so it's gonna take a while? Exactly. Like, the game balance is very unpredictable. Everyone was kind of forcing the top tiers. And then you have all these guys, like the Lily and the Huarong players, who are just naturally... Like, the, these these kind of tiers are expected, you know? Um, but then they're also... 
by character loyalists who have made these characters forever. So it's also kind of expected in the games early, right? So it's like you you have these character loyalists who are mastering the system with their one character. And then you got people who are like of Ulsan's level who are mastering these new top tier characters like Azucena uh, because they don't have their previous character. Good duck. The other cool thing is watching CBM with uh, Jin. Damn, Mike, have you been watching this whole time? This turn is crazy. Wow, throws him out of the power crush. Look at the step. Dude, what? How did she... She stepped and got to like halfway behind his back. And then when she did the jab, she was in his back back. You see that you fell asleep in your chair and so you just got here? Yeah, Mike. I mean, we're like... You missed the first hour of the tournament. And Kudons went 0-2. John and Gwen one and two. I think Mungja went one and two. Loha is out of the tournament. CBM, who won last week, is out of the tournament. <laughs> yeah. Nee was winning with Lily, but then he lost to Ulsan. So Nee's in loser bracket. JDC is still winning, though. Got him. Back turn mix for the balcony. They're all scrubs. <laughs> oh, man. Ulsan and CBM look super strong. They seem like the favorite team in Japan to me. Two most consistent players so far. Hard to compare regions, but they seem to do well from either side. That's the thing, right? Like, I would agree with you usually and say that Ulsan and CBM have looked the most consistent so far. But then you see the results this week. I mean, first of all, last week, I thought Ulsan was guaranteed to win. Uh, so when he lost, I was like, wait, what happened? Uh, and then since then, you know, Azucena has the hot fix, so we'll see how he does tonight. But I thought CBM is looking fantastic. Like, he's looking better than he's looked in his entire career to me. Like, Tekken 7, he had super good highlights, especially towards the end. Uh, but then Tekken 8 comes along, and he looked like he was adjusting kind of difficult at first, but then he just kind of committed to Jin. And was like, oh, you got your main now. You're clicking with Tekken 8. Uh, you won the tournament. Yeah. And then immediately get smoked this week. You know, I'm like, damn. It's kind of fun and exciting this way. It's for the spectators. For the spectators, it's fun and exciting this way. Watching all these people who put all this effort into the game get smoked, you know? <laughs> for the players themselves, you know? I don't know how they feel about it. I have a feeling. I know it's gonna be rough for the players, just hope no one gets discouraged. Honestly, I already know that they're it's not even discouraged, they're just the negativity is rising, right? Off the wall combo that was sick shine. Good block, punish. How bad is Lily's low heat smash and block? I got I really gotta look at the damn data for that. All I know is that the low heat smash is a punishable and they're different amounts of punishable. I think Paul's is minus 12, I think Claudius is minus 14. I don't know Lily's. They've been doing this for years. They'll be all right. It's always like this early game. Yeah. This game feels different, though. It's minus eight. And she's back turn. Okay, so... Because you're back here, you can do a 13 frame minute. Gotcha. You're too lazy to make an account until tonight. I mean, most people are. I understand. It's a different platform. It's hard to get people to watch on a different platform for anything, right? Oh, yeah, I have an irate with them. Yeah, they hit me up uh, like a year and a half ago or something. And uh, the the big part of the arrangement is that obviously it has to be on this platform. But then they also let me obviously put it to my YouTube channel. So, oh, I don't know. I don't think she finished it. Yeah. What up, Gustavo 308? Yeah, that's why they have me like, you know, as part of the 
uh, break screens, etc. And they put me on their tweets and everything. So it's been cool. I mean, it sucks for my sleep schedule, but it's been cool. <laughs> Hey, hey, jump over stuff. I like that. Doubled up. Off the wall. Next wall. Step on it. <laughs> Laughs at EST, I know. I mean, it used to be earlier than this, too, though. I could have sworn it's much earlier than this implies you have a sleep schedule. That's true. I have sleep. I have no sleep schedule. Nicely done, Shine. He did run in 3-2 with Azucena. Knee sidestepped it and uh, his his launcher whiffed Hellas. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> it's hot fixed though. It's hot fixed. Round one. Fight. Coffee Prince. How's it going, dude? I'm chilling out here. Seems like all the Cadre players end up on Azucena. I mean, yeah, if you gotta learn a new character, she's... Kind of a good choice. I mean, honestly, at this point, they might as well all pick Eddie. You can hit a lot of threes or a lot of fours with them. It'll fit right in. The lot is on Shaheen. That is a weird one. I think uh, I saw... What's his name? Steffi Black with Shaheen too, right? Damn. Crossovers with Dragonov? This is not who he used before. Wasn't he like a Fang main? Oh my goodness, the throws! Interesting down 4 4. Sethi's been playing a lot of Shaheen, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Guilty was complaining about Dragonov running 2. It's like, why are they fixing Azu Center running 3 2 when you can always sidestep Dragonov running 2 and still can't get the punish on him? I was like, hmm. Maybe we should complain more. Just kind of counter it throw, you think? I wish that they would make it very, very obvious. You know? Like, the fact that... Uh, even someone like Mike, like a high level, say, like, it was counter throw, I think. You know? I was just like, which was like... Boom! Everyone knows it's a counter throw. Dragging off slide, now zero on hit. And he's going to throw, and he's right down for one. Just put a, just put a big ass thing on the screen, you know? A green streak. You know? Oh, what was that? Oh, it's a counter throw. That way no one has to do math. Alright, Floor Blast combo. What do you call that? Do you call that a throw punish then? Oh boy. Trouble. Guard break, you're dead. Crossover was a Geese Howard. I see. Just take out countered homing throws. Problem solved. Hey, there we go. Yeah, the way that Nia and Kakoma, um, not just Nia and Kakoma, a few players tonight have been using the homing aspect of throws has been pretty interesting. It's like they're actually trying to incorporate what a duck into flash punish. Hey, now what though? Straight into heat smash, 50 50 time. Heat smash right back at you. Oh my god, the low parry high musician, the clutch stuff. All right, final round, game one. Final round. Fight. <laughs> they should put the, the strive counter for counter it throws. Counter. Giant ass text on the screen. <laughs> Duck. Yeah. Hey. He hit a button. I heard Yoshi. Yeah.
All right, final round, game one, all caught up here. Yoshi still has heat. Heat smash gonna be coming. I try to warn him. <laughs> I try to warn him. A lot of times that happens though. Will you hit the rage out on him? And you think like, oh, this is gonna take so much time. Like surely he'll be out of heat by then. And you're like, you're not paying attention to it. Then you run up there and nope, he's just looking for heat smash still. Yeah, one zero, I musician. Why is his name Yes Jam? Is that a play on Say Jam? <laughs> oh man, I musician. Mmm, nice. Damn, I should have got some lychee juice. I bought like a bunch of juice the last time I went to Costco. I bought like four of them. And I drank two of them. I drank like a mango juice thing I had. And then because I'm going to Japan, I don't want to, I don't want to open up the new ones. I'm like, I don't know if I can finish it that fast. Because I might be only home for like another two days after this. I might as well. We can, we can finish one in two days. No problem. Man, online tournaments for this game is so hard. They have 81 players. They do actually do a really good job of getting people in and out of here, huh? Yeah, if you want the brackets, atl.tw. It's always the same link, and then you can just pick the dates. It's day three. You can see it by the date as well. April 17th. Yeah, I Musician honestly has been pretty consistent too. I wouldn't be surprised to see I Musician make top eight at Evo Japan. I think Yoshi is a super strong character. We haven't seen enough um, people complaining about him for him to get nerfed. Other than when he had the crazy life recovery off the flash combos. Josh, you're impressed their spectators working? I mean, we ran a couple tournaments. We ran four, and we didn't really have problems with Spectre Client. The problem was getting people into the lobbies, because you cannot invite someone by Tekken ID when you're in the lobby. You have to leave the lobby and then add them to your friend or search for their profile for their Tekken ID and then add them that way afterwards. It's like a huge pain. Uh, otherwise, if they were on Steam, then it's easy, because you can just make a lobby and give them an invite, even if they're not your friends. Damn, got them. Hella dead. Yeah, there, there's so many problems with the just quality of life in terms of running an online tournament. Oh yeah, that every single time you load into a game and you're the spectator client, the chat box pops up and you gotta hit a button on your controller to make it go away. Every single game. Like how many games we've we seen so far today? It's gotta be like 20 at least, right? Maybe 30. And uh, whoever's sitting there has to hit that button every single time. <laughs> Otherwise we see a stupid chat box on the screen. We didn't even have an exit button until two months after release. That's a good point. Hey, eight. Down back threes. Boots? No. That was a nice power crush attempt. Look, man, he's crazy, dude. He's just throwing out all these moves. He hold this. <laughs> oh, man. He's got, that, he's got that Yoshi blood in him, dude. He just wants to hit buttons. He wants to do stuff. He's dead? No, he's not dead. Okay, okay. He's going to do some stupid Yoshi thing, isn't he? <laughs> Stupid Yoshi thing, of course he would. He wasn't just gonna stand there and like try to mix him with like a down back three or down forward one. He's like, no, how about I hop at him and then block? <laughs> you know? Who is this? Polton and Ulsan? Oh, Polton, the king. All right, here we go. Look at the jab. I know the game is crazy, but Dragonaut being as insane as he is, I thought JTR was gonna come out the gate swinging and checking it. Me too. I thought the same thing. I thought the same thing about Nobi. Wow, why did he swing into that? And why did Ulsan not even do one too? Heat dash. I mean, I guess maybe he just thought the one two was gonna wall splat. If it wasn't, not a big deal. Something like minus 12 or 13. Damn, running three two. Let's go. Running three two. Oh my goodness, what are you gonna do? Hey, just sidestep it, bro. <laughs> it was looking to be good, brother. Oh, you got dead. Wall splat. Hmm. What are we doing now? Another one. What up, Glaze 20Z? 
Damn, whiffing the throw, hold his heat smash. Even after he hit the uh, counter and push in the corner into the full combo, it only took off like 25% off Old Sun. I'm not asking for King to get buffs here. I'm just saying that that's kind of crazy. He's starting to root for Kings in tournament? What? Ban that guy. Oh, he tried to freaking power crush through it too. That would have been tight. DDT. Hey. Look at their step on the running attack. It's like running attack. Who do you think you are, Azucena? Look at Ulsan, bro. He's just moving to play attack, and he's, he's playing so well. Counter is shoving a 4 2 1 scales at 70%. Uh, no crime. 3 0. Game 1, Ulsan. Negative props to King users. I mean, honestly, that was beatdown. That was obliteration. Polton looked w really good last week. Bracket results this week look good. Uh, but running to the wall of Ulsan right now is a problem. And Ulsan, he just played... That was like a Tekken game. Just like a pure Tekken spacing fundamentals. What's happening here second if you're nothing? For the next battle. Ulsan Azucena is fun to watch. Yeah, he's just moving around. Throwing out running three twos. He don't care. <laughs> a lot of two ones. A lot of down forward one fours, down back fours. Round one. Fight. Loving Eddie so far. Took about five days in getting used to his new stuff. Overall, he's amazing. Damn, late on him. A giant swing. Might have been countered. I don't know. Busan probably the most consistent so far. Mm -hmm. Look at the step down for two. The crazier thing, the crazier thing to think about for me is that we saw at the end of Tekken 7, Ulsan was trying some Fang Wei. The beginning of Tekken 8, he tried some as well. RKO, knock and kill, alley kick. Oh, forward two, I like it. Um, so like he could have used Fang Wei, but instead he's like, no, 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 I think Azusen is cheaper. <laughs> it's basically where it's at, right? Oof. Damn, look at him, he's ready, man. Side step right, down forward two, full launch. Like, you don't be doing those strings on me, man. Those old strings. Do some new king stuff. Look at the combo and the heat force extension. Bro, he is playing Tekken 8. He's, he's playing so fast. It feels like Polton is just trying to keep up with the speed. Muscle busted. Wow, that was definitely a counter giant swing, right? It's hard to tell. It's just mid-animation for sure, so I'm going to assume it was. Man, he's so late on that. Like, he's absorbing stuff, but he's like... Holding it too long always, it seems like. I haven't used that move enough. Damn, dashing giant swing. That was broken. Out of hella broke that with 1 plus 2. Nicely done, Fulton. You are a fan of John Nick's Ozzena, but I know. I knew she was hitting the curb. Is Eddie dropped? Oh, yeah. I was hoping he would stick with it, though. I really am curious to know if he's going to stick with Eddie for Evil Japan, though. Because I think his Azusen is definitely stronger right now. And I don't know what Eddie's potential is at the highest level. Oh my goodness. Armored the armor DDT incoming. Now mix. Oh, good timing on the getup kick. Is that going to work? No. Well, that was a good jab from Bolton. Throw breaks good too. Does he smash? Nice spacing from Ulsan. Running 3 2 for the follow up into the low. Okay, set point Ulsan. Wow, went for multi throw. Counter it push. Hogan. Punish that. Fast, safe. High power crush heat engager. Throw breaks it good. Hold on. An anomaly of King users. <laughs> forward 4-4 four, four heat dash. Keep in his floor. Out of heat here. No rage. Can we get to the wall? No, sir. Okay, Polton. Last chance. Not going to get it. Duck. 1-2 for the whiff punish. Ults on. 2-0.
over Poltan. Nicely done. Game two, much better for Poltan than game one was, though, right? Game one was just beat down, but game two, much closer. He actually felt like he was going to win game two. Had a good stage for King and everything. Oh, my goodness. That's the other side of top eight this week. Ooh, losers round seven. Mulgold and Edge. He gets tiresome fighting nothing but Fang, Reyna, Victors, and King. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Tekken 8 is fun to watch unless it's Ozzy Senna on the screen. I like watching Ozzy Senna. It makes me laugh. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, Edge. All right. Yeah, if you guys haven't heard, there's some kind of uh, visa issue with Pakistan moving or something. Or some kind of Pakistan visa issue because the embassy moved or something. So 90% of them will not be able to go to Ebo Japan. There's a chance that Arsen can still make it, though. Look at the combo. Freaking mole gold, bro. Brother. This was a pretty good combo. Heat dash. Dead. All right. I want to know now if Mulgold has been rocking Fang all day or if he's been running Claudio because he's beat a lot of good players. Good step back three. So unlucky for Frazine. He's doing so great with Victor, of course. I mean, he's not just, um, not just the latest dojo that he won, but apparently he's won a couple of events in Pakistan. Got him. That was a huge whiff. That was a very strange um, attempt from Mulgold to throw out the 4 3 4 there. Damn, I thought he was going to duck for sure. Instead, he swung. Yeah, I really hope that Frazine does super well in Tekken 8. I mean, it looks like he's obviously off to a good start in it. But it'd be a cool story. Mix? Yeah. Back four. Spang Wei guy's pretty good. Final round, game one. Hey. Akuma will be the next DLC. Imagine Akuma comes out and Frazine starts losing. That was crazy. Why did he jump? And the perfect for Edge. Oh my gosh. Why did he jump and how did that work out? Like, that was such a crazy fluke there. The fact that he jumped with a jumping four and Edge did a forward advancing move to go underneath that jump. It's, it's so rare to even happen. Did Frazine win the Pakistan tournament last week? Yeah, it was a TWT dojo. What do we got going on here? Is that Mungja? Mungja, I'm your father. Ooh, I want to watch. Mulgold yeah, and Edge is pretty good, though. Battle. All right. Mungja's winning already. All right, he's already up 1-0. All right. Keep winning, Mungja. We'll finish this one. Mulgold and Edge. See that? Now, that's some restraint right there. See that? I was able to turn off the, the second law match we had on stream. Finish the set here. Is Edge an ATL regular? Yeah. I was talking about it too because like his name has changed. So he used to be Muse and now he's Edge. But the past three weeks, he's been a regular on here for Tekken 8. I love it too. Whenever there's a new game, there are players that make the decision like, this time I'm going to try. And I think we're seeing that right now with a lot of players. Like it's their time now. And when you get like an early lead in the game, like Frozine has right now, or even Edge, or like Kaiser with Azucena, like it just builds momentum for you. Got him, uh oh. Look at the damage on this, and look at the health he just recovered. He recovered all his gray, and it took off like 65%, and it's not gonna matter. <laughs> 
Oh, unfortunate. The crazier thing is, like, I said all that as if he had done something, but really he did nothing, right? All he actually did was what he was going to do anyway. He got a whiff punish or counter it into a combo. And all the life changing, like, all that, that was just the system being the system. But it wasn't like he intended, like, oh, I'm going to do something specifically to get my health back. I'm just going to do what I'm going to do anyway. And this is what the result of it will be. Damn, good call out. Set point for Edge right now. Mulgold had a good day. Might be coming to an end. Down 4-4. Four, four. I don't think so. Hold his shoulder. All right. Not done yet. Still set point for edge. Damn. Flamingo this, homie. Woo! Back in post step. Nice try. What? Oh, because he had Heat Dash available. One throw, no break. Edge over Mulgold. The throws. Throws. They're back. Money, yeah. There's gonna be lots of money. Money, money, money. Alrighty. Infested Eye Musician. Ooh, that was interesting. Flash, confirm. Back 2-2. Two, two. Heat Engager. Get dunked. Dragonfly throw. Into run of 1-1. One, one. Yikes. Look at this damage. Oh my god, that was all like 13 seconds. Alright, I'm just not done. My turn. Damn, just shorten the wall carry. That was a good try, though. Oh, he tried something with armor. I saw the white smoke. Another flashback to two. This is starting off just like the last round. Bro, I'm musician. And the downfall run for Oki afterwards too. Damn, that's pretty good. Dude, three rounds in a row, three flashes in order to start it off. Took the high, yes sir. Third hit, yeah. How bad is that third unblocked? It's not even minus 13. Got him. All right. Chance to come back here for Infested. Good block. Still has a chance. Nice attempt with the size of two, but Iron Musician had to spin out three rounds straight. Damn, he looks so ready for this matchup. I feel like when I'm playing against Nina, I'm trying to get away from her. Uh, but I musician, when he's playing against Infested, it's, it's like Infested is scared to go in on Yoshimitsu. And I think that might just be a Yoshimitsu kind of thing. Where you were, I mean, he, the first three rounds in a row, he ran and got flashed, right? So he really makes him reconsider pressing the offense. Mongja got top eight. Let's go. If he's in no sort of sense, it's safer. Interesting. Potentially, at least. Mungja top eight? Mungja top eight. Let's go. Versus Edge. All right. And then last qualifier for top eight is Shine and Moyo, which is happening right now. This one. Nerf flash again? I mean, it's 
It's kind of ridiculous when you think about the changes they made to Tekken 8. Like, oh, we're going to take away Magic 4s, you know, because we want people to be aggressive. Flash? Hello? Flash? Oh, got him. Only get some wall boom action. Yeah, tech roll straight into heat smash. Four rounds, great eye musician right now. Flash start of the round again, dude. <laughs> oh my god, man. Ooh, that was a close try. A little bit closer. He gets that, he gets the wall boom. Oh my god, this is beatdown, dude. He's like, how the hell did you place this far with Nina? <laughs> it's, it's like, this is Yoshi territory, man. Top it. He tried Flash again. That time was a whiff punish, too. Oh my god, bro. This is a... This is... I don't want to say this is sad. But this is a problem. Look at the damage. He sidestepping it back to two. Didn't get... What is... Oh my god. Nice. You see how Lady sidestep? Are we going to wall boom this? No, sir. He tried, I think. Come on, I come on, infested. I almost called him. I fested. <laughs> Smack, here we go. Yo, four fives? What the? F what? Yo. He can't get a wall boom to save his life, but he got around. That combo was tight. Infested. All right, he's on the board. If he makes his comeback, that would be so tight. Look at the range, dude. That combo is so sick. That might be the coolest Nina combo I've seen in Tekken 8. Okay, okay. He's putting it together. Key charge? Carmi stopped typing because she's playing right now. <laughs> Oh no, what are you doing, brother? That was so cheap. I walked low in my head three times. I musician. Closing it out against Infested here. It's one of her staples for that launch, too. That was sick. Two to zero. Infested. Sent to the loser bracket here. I musician into top three. Dude, I Musician is top three. Mungja, putting Law on the map. Let's go. Top eight. Oh, we're going straight into it. JDCR versus Ulsan. Dragonov, Azu, Senna. Dragu Senna Gaming. Azu Senna off Gaming. Shots to Soul Dragger. That was a fun event. Dude, those guys were crazy on the microphone. They're hell and getting hired to work TWT. <laughs> hey, hey. Never change. Never change. JDCR is finally playing Tekken 8. I mean, so far, so good. Yeah, in that heat speak, um podcast they had right with, that's bag hosted with rang chu john ding and cbm etc they were asking rang chu his thoughts and what the japanese scene thinks about tekken 8 and rang chu didn't want to say anything he said that like it's a business relationship they all have with ban and amco and no one wants to criticize the game i'm like what that's crazy right jdcr they'll beat in the stuff and out of ulsan is JD back? Yeah, I'm thinking he's back. Hey, hey. This is cool. Whenever I see these two play, I always think back to that one BAM tournament, which is one of the times where Ulsan finally put himself on the map. I think it's 2019. Ooh, 
what a crazy... Oh my gosh, I thought it was a trade. The Heat Smash beat the Backswing Blow clean. Man, even Ulsan's reactions can't block that down back deepest four. Just like, screw it, running three, four. <laughs> Nice try. Wow, step in a heat smash. Ulsan brings it all the way back. Final round, game one. Damn, this is fast. This time he steps left, gets it down forward two. Yeah, JD has been mixing up the directions he's stepping. Looks like a dual drop combo there. Homing attack works out though. Down for one, check two. Man, JD is playing some Tekken right now. Man, look at that quick home attack, too. All right, Ulsan backing in, keeping life bars even. Both players have rage available or heat available. JD first to activate burst. Now Ulsan's in kill range. Gets a chance to activate his back as well. Down to outer range. I thought it was be outer range. It didn't. He smashed block. Down back to the floor. Into running two. JDCR. What a cheater. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. Oh, good news. The secondary stream is gone. So that means we're going to get to see the Mangja match. I was scared it was happening same time. Okay, okay. Oh, Mangja and Edge are in the uh, the lobby, I just realized. The so they're coming up next. What up, Ice and Guard? Man, loser of this one gets the winner of Mangja and Edge. <laughs> And the winner of this gets Eye Musician. Look at the damage. How many seconds were that was that? Dude, that was crazy. Duck, yeah. Off the wall. No heat first? Okay, there it is. Backswing. Boom. Didn't kill. Chance for JD. Backswing blow on tech roll. Huge opportunity. Still has heat and rage. Pixel. Oh, man. If he had a low carry there, that would have been so tight. Got him. Human at gray health. That is so stupid. Double run three, two. Good. I thought he had the whip force, to be honest. Ulsan has really good, we'll call it off time hit for the heat smash. Mm -mm. He didn't hit nothing. And the throw punish. All right. Keeping it close. Oof. Good block. No one punches that right either. It's got to have like some kind of bigger guard animation. Look at that. That's heat. Nice. And Ulsan's defense is actually pretty crazy. No. Big swing. JD with the step smash. JDCR. Is he going to win this week? All right, live two hits. Yo, don't press on me. One, two, one. Get off me. Yo, JDCR. So, yo, I heard people look for sponsors. The sponsor players right now. I heard there's a bajillion dollars come for Tekken 8. JDCR 2-0. Moving on to winner final. Let's go, JDCR. Is he back? I'm thinking he's back. Two zeros, Ulsan's Azucena without sidestepping a single running 3 2. Very nice. Very nice. Get ready for the next battle. Polton and Moyil. Looking sus right now. I'm about to ban Matrix misquotes. It's because Tasty Steve always says starting to believe, man. 
was like, come on, man. You can't call yourself a big fan of something and then misquoting it. It's one of the most famous quotes in it, you know? That's like, man, I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Luke, you are my son. What? Bolt down, it's crazy. Oh man, this is standing four points. How do you get that? Hey, God damn, Victor. <laughs> damn, all right, Moyle. You know, I was saying that we didn't see him, but I feel like we saw him last week, right? I definitely remember this custom. <laughs> the tank line in Matrix One is that is that is one of the best lines. That movie had a bunch of great lines. That movie was basically a comic book in action movie form. Bone apple teas get smashed. All right, man, Poltan is scary. I really, really hope that all these guys in the top eight today are gonna get Evo Japan. No siree. All right, final round, game one. Holtz doing really good these days. He is. Two weeks in a row, top eight. Last week, top four. Damn. Get thrown. No armor for you. Damn, man. The heat dash. He's in trouble. Bolt and rage and heat available. Down by four. Didn't count. Dared the duck this time. Full crowd. Down for two. Gut punch. Uh huh. Nuts. The throw break, important throw break. Giant swing. Is he dead? With rage? Oh my god. What a comeback from Poltan. Nice. Get him out of here. Guns, knives, and swords. We don't need that in my Tekken. Very nice, Poltan. Very, very nice. 1 0. What am I doing giving King players props? It's, it was very nice, though. I mean, this kind of a matchup, you know, you give him props. He's fighting against Victor out here. Yeah, you give him props. Get ready for the next battle. Damn. All right, here we go. Game two, going to Sanctum. That was a counter hit giant swing, you think? Smiley face, you think? And blue spark. Neutral props. Step to push. That was such a good comeback for that final round, actually. It all started because he just ducked and got the uh, full crouch down for two gut punch punish. And then his uh, offense, he actually staggered well enough that he didn't get caught by anything. For the giant swing. Damn, was that a bait? What the? F Bro. <laughs> That's twice now he's done uh, ducking a high and then standing for, for the whiff punish. Man, he's doing hard duck callouts. Nice try. He's, he's teleporting away. Look at the range. You don't like both of these characters? You don't mind whoever loses? Yeah. Hey. Eight. 
Wow. Again, man. He's just been hard ducking and committing to it. He's had the right reads. Oh, good launch. Launch! Oh, goodness. Doesn't need a launch. All right, Polton. Set point against Moyle here. Start the round. Atlas Hammer. We actually saw the John do that a couple times, too. Man, small punch of these Walton and Ones. Multi throw escape. Moyle's in trouble right now. Still in it, though. Heat dash. Give me this chip. Knock him into rage. No. I was thinking he would do the same thing, too. The thought in my head went like. When you get chipped into rage, people don't ex don't realize it. So you can catch them off guard, the rage guard will look easier. But Moyle is hella aware. Oh no. Old chiropractic adjustment. Mm. That's a Thailand massage right there, bro. Dashing giant swing. He's hit everybody with that. Step the bullets. Ooh, he smashed it. <laughs> Hold on. 2 0 over Moyle. Very nice. Tell everyone about it. Two to zero. Man, after Mungu loses, I'm going to say it's impossible to beat Wrong with Law. See, it's, these are facts right here. I'm not going to do that. Look at that. See, you had to hit the button, take off that chat off the screen every single game for a tournament streamer. Fight. Can't believe those three are not sponsored. Dude, there's so many people not sponsored. All right, Manga. Ooh, I like that. Four, four, two, poison arrow into sidestep two. Oh no. I'm not learning anything, Manga. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's a problem. All right, all right. That just that's just one round. You got this. Step right after it. Didn't help any, but he did. Good throw break, good throw break. Armor, ay, ay, ay. Come on, Mongja. Come on, Mongja. All right, that looks like the same amount of life he took off in round one. It's, it's okay. It's okay. You got this. There you go. Wow, that was a really fast instant DSS 4. Ooh, okay, okay, we're getting crazy. Damn, his size step 3 was fast there. Instant DSS 4 was fast. Instant while standing 4, DSS slide was good. Alright, best round yet. We got this. There we go, it's our turn. Dragon Hammer down 4 3. Nunchucks counter it. Okay, okay. Here we go. I haven't learned anything. <laughs> I think I think all he did was like that he just started doing more offense. Damn dragon hammer like crazy. Damn, he's so good at Tekken. Long guys. Ooh, I like those. Double heat. Pull this smash down jab and heat smash. Ooh, it's over. Day it. All right, there we go, Mungja. All I've learned so far is that Mungja is hella good at Tekken. <laughs> yeah. 
Dragon Hammer, Dragon Hammer slide. Dude, that was such a good slide out of there, and Ed still blocked it. I didn't even see the slide start. The parry. All right, very nice. You got this, Mongja. Whoa. He's going to do another Nunchuck tune. That would have been a good chance. It's okay. So we still got Nunchuck. Heat Smash. Heat Smash. I vote Heat Smash. Yeah. <laughs> Wall pressure. Oh, God. Parry's good. He's got no heat. <gasps> Damn. Damn. Almost. 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 That was close. That was a good game. What a good call out for the down for two from Edge there. Yeah, he's doing a lot of Dragon Hammer, isn't he? It's only one game, but I mean, honestly, it started off way worse. The first two rounds were disaster, and then he turned everything around. Are we learning? Hell no. There are like little things he does, which I would have to go back and look at, Get but the like there's battle. certain situations against Warong, he'll do like a single back dash, he'll do a side to right block. And he, I'm sure he has a bunch of uh, little defensive things he does against the character. But I was just more impressed with his uh, Dragon Hammers and single jabs he's using out. Wow, we take that trade. Ooh, dashing junkyard. Cool combo. While standing three. Heat smash? Yeah. I like those. Big ass lead. Ooh, let's go. Damn, <laughs> stare down. Crouching stare down. Round two. Fight. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, I can't parry that. What do you think you are, Jin Kazama? Your martial law, your parry sucks now. So stupid that the rules aren't consistent. Damn, the perfect for Edge. Fight. Wow. The block. And the low parry on the slide? There's no way that's better than just block. Spacing edge is hella good, bro. Heat dash, protective damage, hold this 1 1 1. Damn, challenge a heat dash with 1 1 1 is a good choice. Woo! Damn, nice try, nice try. Uh oh, set point edge. Wow, he jabbed against Junkyard. And it worked. Edge is so good, Joey. He's so good. Like, I talked about Mungja having these, like, single back dashes, single side steps defensively, but Edge does the same thing against Law. Mm, good call out on the Jugs, too. That's something I really am really bad at now, too. Just calling out and committing to Ducks. Just goes against my Tekken instincts. I used to do it more, though, when I was younger. And the down forward two again, and that'll do it. 2-0. Told you guys, it's impossible. See? Law can't beat Horong. Nice try, Mungja. Nice try. It's not you, bro. It's just a character matchup. <laughs> oh, man. Holton versus Infested coming up. Okay, okay. No, yeah, it's been absolutely wild. Damn. Inf our Holton keeps getting the stage. Infested has been on fire. With Nina. Damn, start of the round, back three, hold this armor. Woo, that was a good hop kick. He's down back three with Nina. Eight. Third hit, counter hit. Hate it. Hate it. That was one of the worst additions to Tekken ever. Infested also beat Infested multiple times in team battle? You don't say. <laughs> I'll mess with you. He beat Edge multiple times in team battle. Oh, okay, okay.
Damn, you can only stop edge with infested? That's crazy. I really need to learn Nina, man. I kind of want to learn Nina more than Reyna. Although I should just play more King, to be honest. If I could practice doing a dashing giant swing, I don't know how anyone could beat me. Look <laughs> at this guy. He's so good at it. King is actually so... If you actually, like, mastered King, right? If you mastered a dashing giant swing, uh, incredible speed on your giant swing inputs, and you just start counterating people with it, it's like, you are going to do so good in this game. The other thing my king sucks at is doing counter and push fast enough. You cannot see me learning Nina or Reyna. Neither can I. That's why I've been avoiding them. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice... He's been laying on it all day. My king is optimal. Forward, forward, neutral two, and forward, forward two. That's all I do. Then I hop kick, and I down forward one, two. And I down forward, walk in four. <laughs> And wall thing 2 2. That's all I got. Oh, and back 3, of course. I always forget back 3. Without back 3, I don't have a king, actually. Damn the chip. Look at this pressure. Third hit again. Twice it's worked. If you're infected, you gotta go for it a third time. Nuts. Ooh, blue sparks get the duck while standing too. Key charge setup, brother. I'm just efficient. <laughs> hmm. Again, calls out the grabs, ducks the wild stand too. That's like a player read. It's like I know whenever Polton's trying to make a comeback or win, he goes for throws, and he just ducked it. So now you're Polton, you gotta just hop kick. That'll show him. Or crouch grab. Infested is crazy. He's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I see I'm musician and Edge just chilling in this lobby. And they're not even like scheduled to play each other, just hanging out in the lobby because they know the matches are coming up later. Uh personally, I'm like scared to have battle. extra people in the lobbies. I feel like more likelihood it breaks on accident. I have no faith. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Pult on infected. Game number two. Back when two catches are out of the air. Small conversion. It says small, but it's actually pretty good. Look at the amount of gray on it, though. It only did like 5% real damage. Who imagined Infested being the top DRX player nowadays? Brother, I didn't even think about that. In this tournament, we had Ni, Lohai, Chanel. None of them are top eight, but Infested is. With Nina Williams. That's sick. That is super sick. It's a new game, man. New rules. New hierarchy. And he's struggling big time? I don't know. I think he's just learning. Like, the, the winning result isn't that important, actually. Not yet, anyway. Damn, dashing giant swing. What are you going to do about it, bro? It's impossible. Into a wall. No tech option available. Bro. King's hop kick range confuses me. Like he dashes so far forward now. Key charge setup. Look at the sidestep into wall spot with it. Into a bunch of dancing into nothing. <laughs> Lawn bomb, heat dash. Calls out the high, hard duck. Here we go. Raging heat available. Here comes the heat first. What do we do for Oki? Got him. Into smash. Why didn't you do a real combo? Oh my gosh. He could have killed. He could have killed for sure there. He got the wall splat clean. He could have done tornado, rage art. 
This tech just did wall splat into heat smash. But here we go. Carmi's good. Yeah, it's hella not Carmi. <laughs> hey, look at the damage off that combo, too. And the pressure from Infested right now. Damn, there you go. You didn't have enough health there. Final round set point for Infested. All right, Bolton. Wow, sidestep, crouch dash, muscle buster. Into unblockable, moonsault, into a DDT. In the back. Yo, that was sick, actually. RKO! <laughs> that was so good, too. The down forward one in the back, down forward one in the back, into heat first in case it did back turn down jab or something. That was a good sequence. Oh, man. What did you miss? Mung just out 2 0 to a Horong player just because Law can't beat Horong, obviously. So we had Law in top eight, seventh place, but Edge is moving on. Uh, but then so far, Infested and Polt on a 1 1. Ulsan lost to JDCR 2 0. So Ulsan's in loser bracket. He gets Edge Get next, which is going to be battle. crazy. And the winner of that gets the winner of this. Round one, fight. Counter it down back three. Damn, running three. Oh my goodness. Threw her out her while standing two. Why are you ducking? I remember end of game one, Infesta was ducking all the grabs like crazy. And look at the little sidestep there to make sure you got the wall boom. Gets the heat combo now. Heat dash. Ooh, into running exploder. Yo, Polton. Damn, I really gotta play King again. Running through is so fun. Give me this boom. Huh? <laughs> Wait, that's not guaranteed, is it? I feel like he just got hit. Like, I, I don't know. Like, in this game, there's a lot of weird last link things. Like, was that a link thing? Wow, the pixel and the down four just reaches the RKO out of somewhere. Yeah, he ran at him for like 10 seconds before he hit it. Oh my gosh. We're kicking out here? No, we're not. Best there is, was, and ever will be. What the? F that was some BS, dude. Wipe the floor. He did a hop kick over it. He had the right read. Game hella ripped him off. Oh no. Wow, no combo. Damn, at least they're both getting ripped off. Counter it, push. It beat some kind of white smoke. Here we go. Muscle Busta into what? Into turnaround heat smash. <laughs> Set point, bolt on. Damn, girl! Close line from hell! Duck, no duck, man. That third hit has caused him a lot of headache in the set. Uh oh, he's got his arm. He's got his face. We rolling! They see me rolling. They hate it. Pull time. Top four again. RDC on Infested. Nice try, Infested. Best DRX player this week. He made it to win a final, so it's first to threes, you know? Edge beat Ulsan last week, did he? I don't know. We'll find out, though. This is hot fixed Azucena. Running 3 2 has been normalized. Here we go. Edge and Ulsan lose a bracket, first to two, to get into top four. Oh, keeping the peace. Oh boy, trouble. Round two, fight. 
Man, if Ulsan loses here, I don't know what the hell's gonna happen to Evil Japan. <laughs> Damn, he's been doing a good job to keep out Jab. Look how little damage he took off of with it. Wow. You gotta still do it with her. Running speed too, it's important. Oh my goodness. The down jab didn't reach. How do you close out here? Run through two denied. Got to get away from the wall. It's working his way out. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That was such a good whip punch from Edge. Wow, and Ulsan hangs on for the round. Round three. Fight. Ulsan was in grand finals last week. Uh, he lost. Oh yeah, I don't think I don't think Edge beat him last week. He might have been. Yeah, I don't know if he's ever beat him. Her running 3-2 on tech roll seems kind of like uh, the knock the situation where you don't want to tech when you wake up. That was a good sequence. Catch him out of the airborne state. With the heat first here now. Wall carry is easy. Hey. Wow. I was surprised he didn't heat smash in between that. I thought he was going to. And now the throw is going to kill. Oh my God. How is he alive? Bro. Yeah, Ulsan had a big opportunity there. He didn't cash in on. Ooh, I like that mix. Oh no, it's not good. Nice one too. There at the dash this time. Ulsan steps. No launch. Ulsan's in trouble here. He's got rage. Heat timer's tipping down. Heat smash. When's it going to be? The challenge after running 3 2 into heat smash. All right, we're all caught up. Ulsan just trying to survive at this point. No counter. Run 3 2 pressure. This is down. We're not going to go. No way. Oh my God. Okay, you woke me up, Ulsan. It's 6.50 in the morning. That was a sick rage art, and that doesn't even win the game. Two rounds apiece. Yo, that was crazy. That was crazy. That was the right decision. And here we go, final round, game one. RFF DF3. Look at this, dude, he took off 80% within 10 seconds. Ulsan's in huge trouble. It's, oh, Rage Art again? No way, dude. Okay, so he's not gonna, he's not gonna have Rage here. He's gonna get back some health, but then he still has heat. So he finds a heat engager. He gets back that full gray. He's dead. Yeah, good choice. All right, Edge 1 0. Yeah, if Ulsan won that game too. Ay, ay, ay. Man. So how many Oscar standards were you guys saying is going to be in uh, Evil Japan Top 8? I'm all fruity. Oh no, they got this stage too. You see the stages too. Like you talk about just the volatility of Tekken 8 currently with the balance or the characters and learning the game, the heat system and the gray health and everything and then you also put in random stages on top of that with a stage like this and we got a skyrocket to start things off brother <laughs> get back over here at this wall oh my goodness dude good defense from bolts on there out of hella duck oh my god now we're going this way he's not even gonna get the boom he's got a regular ass wall unlucky huh Turn around, heat smash to nothing. Too scared of defense from Edge. 
Nice try. Didn't kill. Wow, okay, okay. They got to nerf the stage hazards. You know what's like, I had this crazy thought, but maybe there should be an option in tournament mode to disable stage hazards. <laughs> How crazy would that be? Like no balcony breaks, floor breaks, or wall booms or blasts. Punish that. The comms are cool though, yeah. I like, dude, I like Dead or Alive when people are like rolling down the stairs or getting hit by cars and, you know, elephants are hitting them in the jungle or whatever. Like, yeah, that stuff's cool. I just don't think it's cool for tournaments, that's all. 1 1. Hey, heat dash. All right, we're all tied up. One game each. It's more that Grey Health needs a nerf, not stage hazards. I mean, I think there's a lot of factors to look at right now, and I think it's hard to know what's what uh, with everything going on at the same time. Full Sun decided to wake up. I mean, that was uh, probably the best I've seen anyone play against Edge. One apiece. Get ready for the next battle. All right. Who's moving on to top four? If Ulsan moves on to top four, then we have three out of the same top four as last week. Which is pretty impressive. Run away from this. The stage is camouflage. Good heat burst. Both of them now heat timers ticking. Ulsan first trigger for the heat smash. Heat dash now. No! What are you doing, man? He he built confidence in his other rage arts landing. That was a bad one, though. But that's how Rage Arts work, man. They look random and whack when you miss it. But when you hit it, you're like, oh my god, you're so smart! <laughs> Wow. Caught it early in the 1 2 but still airborne. Oh man, the heat dash situation and edge on set point to eliminate Ulsan. Oh no. Ulsan, oh my gosh, I was gonna say he's in trouble, but good call out, ducks the high. Here comes combo. Short side of the wall. Yes, sir. Still in trouble. No throw break. They both activated. Ed didn't get his. Run 3-2. Into heat smash. 50-50. The block. It's over. Ulsan out at fifth place. Edge with the clutch defense. Moves Huarong over Azucena into the top four. So our top four characters this week. Dragonov, Yoshimitsu, King, and Huarong. And not just any Dragonov. JDCR Dragon Off. So here we go. Winner's final. 2024 ATL Season 1 Day 3. Let's get it. JDCR versus I Music Kane. 
I read his name up top. All right, here we go. Five seconds, Half-Life gone. Seven seconds, 90% gone. <laughs> and it's over within 10 seconds. What a round, JDCR on the board first. at i know what the hell underneath bro everyone's whipping no one's punishing jtr enemy's heat timer worked out he's back baby i'm just gonna spin some stuff in a rage so if he finds the heat smash and be more damage he's not even gonna get a chance to hit a damn button all right round three fight down four two whip punch you know i gotta say i think i'm just in trouble <laughs> Holy crap, what the f The jump back forward though from JD? Homing attack, man. He has figured out how to play Tekken 8. Have you guys noticed the amount of backdashing JDCR has done? <laughs> I mean, the mun buns he's pressed. Why backdash cancel when you can forward button press? JDCR 1-0 over Iron Musician. First to three, though. You know, I thought that JDCR was going to be the one to benefit from a longer set, but maybe it's Iron Musician from the way that started. Good lord. Making Dragnov look like a boss character? I don't think that was JDCR that did that. I think that might have been Namco. <laughs> he has learned aggression. Damn, 2017 JD is back? Who knows, man? I mean, honestly... Very honestly, if if you were going to come back at any point, it's now, you know, like Dragunov is there's no chance. I'm going to I'm going to put this out in the universe. There's no chance that Dragunov gets better than this. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, so, yeah, now's your time. Is he going to Evo Japan? I hope so. I think the brackets just came out for Evo Japan too. I haven't looked at it. I think it came out while we're doing this right now. Holy moly. Wow, good spin. Oh, I, I, got, I got baited. I got baited like three times right there. All right, I'm musician. He's turning up the button. Still heat smashing JD. Double spin, runs up to get him. Wall splat, that was so sick, but he didn't get a kill. Doesn't matter, damn back three. I'm musician on the board. All right, see this, he just needed them to spell his name right. It's perfect spelling, he's in there now. He's like, I'm not I'm music Kane. I'm musician. What the hell is happening, dude? He's turning up the Yoshi. Damn, good block, too. What? He's a magician. I'm a magician. I said it completely wrong. Damn, don't step against me. Tornado. Check. Tech Cat. JD, ready for it. Counter it. 1 2 1. 50 50. Good block. Heat dash off of it. Dragonfly thrown. All right, what are you gonna do, I musician? Pixel. <laughs> he tried that earlier against a different dragon off, and it worked. Fight. Dude, look at his spins. Dude, ten seconds. He's dead. Perfect. I wonder if JDCR laughs at his opponents while he plays them in tournament like this. Damn. Airborne? Why, thank you, sir. My musician is in big trouble. Holy crap. 
Back four, back four, down my keepers four. Don't go anywhere, don't go anywhere. Good luck trying to block. JDCR20. Looking pretty good. Man, I saw... <laughs> Twitter is really a funny place. I saw people after the results of the Tekken World Tour dojo event for Pakistan and UK happened. Uh, I think it was Dinosaur. Dinosaur was like, you know, people in the community need to learn to be more humble, you know, and just say Dinosaur and Mac were right about Dragunov. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. Oh, man. That was like two days ago, bro. It was like maybe even yesterday, you know? Oh, man. That's good. All right, I musician. Bring it back now. Three straight. Round one. Fight. Well, that's a good try with the back, too. Wow, we got one break on the hard wall break. Damn, he ducked, too. JD mixed up a uh, low with the high. <laughs> what? That was unfortunate. We can take it immediately. No one ever wants to keep that second wall there when they get to it. Like, we got it. We got to take both. Otherwise, my opponent might get it. Let's get these damn things out of here. Ooh, okay, okay. I'm musician. Let's go. I want to see him make it close. Also, it would be pretty sick to see him win the tournament because Yoshi is winning a tournament. Holy crap. Dude, the rounds that JDCR are winning are all within like 20 seconds. All right, I mean, now we're playing Tekken. Eight. Looks like the Matthew since you're a Yoshi player, but who doesn't love JDCR? Exactly. Heat burst. Because he went for a low. What is he going to do? Beat heat burst with a low? What the hell? Was that a weird tea bag? Man, these are both two fan favorite players. But when the character, when you look at the characters, right? As much as you love JDTR, you can't love Dragonov. In this game, you know. Yoshi, though, it's hard. It's, it's a little easier to love Yoshi than Dragonov. I don't like either of them, but still, in this game. Damn! What a flash. What are you doing, I musician? Oh my god. I saw him like start to pull out the Yoshi brain. I was like, don't just to stand there and block, dude. Yeah, he hella through that one. And just like that, it's set point for JDCR. Back four pretty good. <laughs> Over the top. Good block. And by block, I mean duck. Heat smash coming from JD. Here it is. <laughs> I tried to warn him. I tried to warn him. 3 0, JDCR over I Musician. But yeah, that was a fun match. A Polton still in it. And this guy's the wild card right here. Not Polton, Edge. The only person who sent to lose a bracket was Infested. He just beat Ulsan. So if anyone's going to make the comeback and win this tournament, I feel like he is the scariest person in the top four right now. Polton though with the giant swings. JDCR win with an average round time finish of 10 to 15 seconds. That's what it feels like. 
damn Polton throws a lot. Which is great for Tekken 8. Dashing giant swing, everyone gets hit by it. Nuts! Counter hit it too. Polton, boom! Nuts. Eight. Step back three. Give me another one. Heat dash combo. He loves it. Holy damage, brother. Oh my god. Into heat burst? Really? Just so we can activate, I guess. Okay. So he gets the activation. Now we get to spin. Here's the heat smash spin. No RKO. Just goes to the mid. Look at that. Look at the extended duck there, too. Into Rage Art! Yo, Polton is crazy, dude. Crazy good. Not dead here, though. What do you do for the mid? Running three. Nuts! Man, and two back-to-back -back round comeback for Polton. Polton is one of the few enjoyable kings to watch. Oh, hell yeah. The dashing giant swing gets everybody. Finally, Edge. What the hell, dude? Edge should have had the round right there. Now Polton has a chance to make another comeback. All right, counter and Lotus, I'm okay. Don't count Edge out, but also don't give opportunity to Polton to make a comeback on you. Nuts. Into dashing giant swing, this time we got the tech. Wow, beautiful. God punch. He tried to armor through it. Hold on though, on it. Blue spark ender. Double jaguar step. It's gotta be careful here. Counter hit, four, two, one, heat dash combo. We got a wall boom behind it. What do we do here though? Can we kill? No tech, giant swing extension, back to the wall. Polton is a genius, dude. That was so optimal, actually. That was really good. That was really, really good. He knew his combo wasn't going to kill, so he's like, all right, I got to give him a chance to guess to get out of this. Uh, but if it works, maybe I win. And it won. So that was really good. Man. This is a crazy tournament. I'm just thinking, you know, I thought Edge was the scariest person in the loser bracket uh, for JDCR. But there is a world where Polton makes it back there too. And that's ready for the next also scary. Scarier than it should be, you know? This guy has a swagger. Round one. Fight. Counter it, push. Oh my goodness. Hey, hey. Oh man, I want to do more training. <laughs> Get more work. Low parry is good. Optimal combos. Oh no, he's got his leg. Korong needs those legs. Oh man, we're going to Thailand. Massage special. Massage. Oh, God damn. Bro, Polton is doing so well right now. Got him. Trying to whiff punish? Because I'm whiffing? It was an intentional whiff. To bait your whiff punish to get a launch so I could drop this combo. Hey, oh no. Hold on. Didn't get spent his heat timer. Edge has rage now. It's less heat available too. Nice duck on the highs. Got the wall stand 4 4 in between. DDT. Oki now. Side roll is good. And the amount of uh, waiting they're doing at the time they're doing it makes me feel like they play each other a lot. But right now, just like that, it is set point for Pulse on here. Nice 
try. Man, I did not ex expect to see Edge get this beat up. What a down forward two again. Dude, his timing for down forward two have been so good. That's how we beat Manja. That's how we got Ulsan. And is this going to be the start of the comeback for him against Polton? Giant swing. He's teching it. All right. Edge woke up. It's laid out there in Korea. Duck. Launch. Here it is. All right. Edge for the comeback. Give me this edge of this wall. Boom. We're going this way. Never mind. Just kidding. Back to guaranteed. Follow up time. He first getting a hit too. Only plus two. Gets countered. Pushed. There we go. Edge brings it back. Final round. Set point for Polton still. Muscle busted. Side roll the moonsault. Yo, the way boost. Yo, Edge turned up right now. Lost the nuts. Go for the to pick up, but here we go. Hogan. Dude, his side rolls have been on point right now. Heat first. Yo, Edge is going to do it. He's not going to get the wall boom here. Mix. <gasps> he might lose. He lost. He lost. <laughs> oh, my God. Bolt on two to zero. If the angle was a little bit different, he gets wall boom and it's over. He ties it up one apiece. Instead, he doesn't get the combo. And Polton wakes up and gets the dub. Damn. I didn't curse nothing. That was sick. I was I was hype. I thought he was gonna bring it back. I musician and Polton coming up next, loser final. They were both in the top four last week. So they're very consistent. Yoshimitsu and King. Top four of ATL. Awkward angle causing wall combos to not hit. Then right. opponent wakes up with punishes. Very painful. Oh yeah. Especially when he causes you to be eliminated from the tournament. Like, think about this in a sense, like, okay, this is not like a, a bajillion dollar tournament, right? But there will be tournaments for thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars probably this year, you know? As a player, do you really want to lose like that? I don't think I can take it. I would rather not have the opportunity to play, you know? <laughs> like, screw that. Oh, no. We're bridging. All day. Look at the damage, dude. Wow. Nobody breaking King's Bridge today? Nobody. Damn, Bolton is... Damn, he went for Heat Smash. He's left another chance. I was just kept jabbing him so you wouldn't have a chance to do it. Got airborne and got power bombed out of the air because of it. Fight. Counter it, push into back three, leg drop. That doesn't do much damage at all. Counter it, push. What's the most? Is that the most damage you can get off of push? Counter it? Just the back three? In the open, I mean, of course. Ay, ay, ay. Damage. That's so much damage. Damn, my musician going in. A lot of 1-1s, one -one, huh? Rainbow dropping them. Give me another one. Yeah, this keeps his back to the wall, too. I like it. Oh, my goodness, to the back. Musician working on it perfect here. Heat dash combo, maybe? Nope. Doesn't need it. Perfect. Final round. Fight. Final round, game one. First of three, long set. Damn, all the rainbow dice. It's like he's pissed off about the throws, so he keeps on throwing. I haven't seen I Musician throw this much. Yeah, it looks like the back three is definitely more damage than the forward two one. 
after counter push, of course. Counter push into forward two one again. Mm -hmm. That's pretty decent damage. Counter hit flash. Oh my god. Good defense. Good defense. Smash gets. Oh, he spun out of it just like that. I musician first game. Based on the way the first set went, how do you guys feel about I Musician's chance against JDCR? I guess what I'm really wondering is who has the better chance against JDCR? The damage he gets from a single throw is crazy. I don't think it was like that in Tekken 7. King needs a damage nerf for sure. Um, I don't know what he needs. You think Polton has a better chance against JDCR? I don't know if either of them have a decent chance against them. The crazy thing is, like, they're all God of Destructions. Like, they're all ridiculously good, right? Get ready for the next Ian, I think, wins this step but loses to JD again. I want to see the adaptation if he gets the run back. I would like to see Polton versus JD, though. I think in basically a reset grand final situation. Wow. Uh, in a reset grand final situation... I think that JD should win against both of them, but you never know. What's, I could have done more against JD. He could have stepped like the back fours. JD used a lot of back four unexpectedly. It's like a lot of little things, but he got a little Yoshi brain at the final game too. Like he could have, he could have won at least one of those games. So if he had the run back, he might have some adaptation. Them to show us, you know. They're all max rank, but still somehow JD plays like he's a rank above. Oh yeah, I mean, because he's that level of a player. I really thought we were gonna see JCR in top eight last week. This game is just uh, hard to control. Edge versus JD would have been fun to watch. That would have been really a good test, I think. Wow, the wall was there. For some reason, I thought that angle was a little bit different. But that was like a very obvious hit. Good. Oh my god, three in a row? Got him! Dragonfly grab, putting in work. Yeah, I think it might have been Edge who beat me. Damn nuts in the giant swing. Look at the damage, bro. Back 2 2. Hopney! Whoa! Eat first combo here? Oh, I see. <laughs> that was good. The down three at the end of the combo in the heat smash. I like that. One apiece. Mole gold beat knee. Ah, okay, okay. Let's look at the bracket real fast. Go back to like top 32, I think. Yeah, knee lost to mole gold 2 to 0 here. And then Edge beat Mulgold. And the Edge beat Mungja. Knee and Losers beat Justice. And on the winner side before that. Get ready for the next battle. Knee lost to Ulsan 2 0. Round one. Fight. All right, game three. Polton, I Musician, Losers, final. JDCR still chilling. Winner side of Grand Finals. Four forward, neutral two into Giant Swing. Been one of his go-tos. And he's been mixing it up with forward forward, neutral two into forward forward, neutral two. So a low or a high throw and you just duck and you beat both options and there's a flash to punish for it. Justice is a Paul Phoenix. He had another character too, I forgot which one though. The ton of damage. Oh, 
spacing was so good there. Good choice, the one plus two. Round two. I was thinking like he would do down forward two or something. Muscle busted. Start of the round. He's dashing muscle buster, dashing giant swing. Hold on, grab game is scary. Man, I ducked the hide, not much punish though. Dude, Fulton is actually so good. Get off him. Armor's through. Wow, didn't kill. And the counter flash. Oh my god. Is he gonna kill him with this? No way, right? Rage art available and heat. There's a heat. Wall was there. Hi, musician. What are you doing, dude? Heat smash mix time. Damn, he went for the flash. Polton is ready for it. Wait, 4 4 new 2 hits grounded? Yeah. DDT. His usage of forward three hits so much too. Wow, that was very uncharacteristic. I think he just got overconfident. I feel like Polton is getting a little too loose right now. Like he turned on his Yoshi brain, you know what I mean? Wow, so far. Wow. Damn, girl. He just arcade-owed him. Round four. And yeah, King's forward four is a hella cheap. Oh, man. See, and you can't get overconfident at all. Uh, because it's only 1-1. One, one. Countered push and a giant went into... What? It wasn't even giant swing. I got mixed up. It was into Chinese wizard. Whoa. Okay, old spring kick. Dude, the forward threes and down threes for Oki, I like this. I'm feeling that, adding to my king game. Sidestep, heat smash, block somehow. The blocks. No throw break, rainbow dropped, and just like that, not overconfident anymore, are we? Final round, game three. Look at the back one too, with there. He spun away, he's like, I don't want to deal with the mix. Got him though, alright. Single jab, gets him a spin. Homely attack, smart choice in case he's fun. You can tell I Musician is kind of in a spin kind of mood right now. Uh oh, trouble. Not final, final yet, because it's first to three, lose the final. But it is a final. One of them. Look at the gray, look at the gray, it's over. Wait! It's, okay, it's over. I thought he was gonna fall out. Wow, remember that overconfidence he had in round three? Whoops. Two, two to one. I Musician is up here. Damn. Damn. I remember how loose he was playing in round three. How good he was feeling. It's all falling apart. Damn, I Musician, bro. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pult on now. I wonder what stage he hopes for. Polton got to turn his Yoshi brain off. That's basically what he needs. Wow, this has been his stage today. He's gotten it so many times. Damn, look at the lighting off of Yoshi. Looks cool. Round one. Fight. Counter it down back three. Sit. I don't think so. Forward three pickup. Very nice. How does he do it? His counter push time. Oh my goodness. Figure four. Woo. Armors through. Is he dead? Hella dead. That was a good ass round. The theme is nuts here. Yeah, dude. That saxophone. Damn. No back three. Get thrown. Good throw breaks. And they're both throwing like crazy now. <laughs> Oh my god, I mean, he's still throwing! 
I musician is making a statement like, dude, all you got is throws, bro. You're lucky Tekken 8 made throws good, DDT. Roll him over. Give me your back. I forgot the move is called. I think the Iron Sheik used to do it, though. Still throwing him. Did he pressure him with just throwing his ass nonstop to the point that Poltan, like, crumbled and did a rage art? That was so sick. No sacks, please. It's gonna happen. Camel clutch, thank you. Again, going for the forward threes for Oki. Forward three, forward three, down three seems like the way to go. But look at him, he's like armored, he's nuts, dude. Funny stat. Oh my goodness, I'm musician. The download's complete. Guard broken. Heat dash combo, pick it up. We're going to this other wall over here. Are we gonna get a tech catch after it? Okay, pull down. You need a heat engager. Shining Wizard works out though. Damn, and just like that, set point, I musician. Puts the sword away. Double running three. That's boots. He did Fubuki need to. I musician is so funny, bro. Counter it, throw a rainbow drop. Another one. Giant swings him back. <laughs> they are throwing the shit out of each other. Flash, what a big whiff. Okay, I mean, can... that sax will caught me off guard. Not gonna lie. Hey, armor's through with the heat first. What you gonna do next? Both of them have rage. Heat smash trade. One plus two broken. I'm musician, still set point. Got him! Damn, I'm musician over Polton. Hey, remember uh, round three round of game number three? Where Polton got all Yoshi brained? Whoops. Three to one. I'm musician over Polton. Moves him back to face JDCR. I'm musician top two this week. Congrats. Little vacation, and I'll come back. I should be back in time to do the next ATL as well. Okay, here we go. Round one. JDCR versus I Musician. Back four, down back deep was four. That was his go to that got him hella. I uh, got him hella mileage in the winter final. But I musician, good the hockey call out there. Ooh, that was close. He had the step. Yo, I musician showing up right now. All right. Okay, he might kill himself right there. What are you doing, brother? You just had a whiff punish. Bring back a souvenir. I've been to Japan before. Counter it. Oh, wait a second, dude. This is looking a little different. I think that saxophone powered up I musician, dude. He's a musician with his eyes and the saxophone playing. Get on his face. Tornado. Guard oh, broken. You're dead. This is looking a little different. Early heat activation. Hold his flash. I'm Yoshimitsu. Oh, you thought I was going to charge it up all the way? You crazy. Oh, he's getting crazy, dude. Uh oh, the Yoshi brain's active. What the? F <laughs> Damn, JD hella waited for that thing. Give me your health. Oh my god, three rounds great. Game one. I musician. Okay, that was a good start for the grand finals. I musician. I should have been precise. Bring me back, souvenir. <laughs> You, you'll be in Japan soon enough, Carmi. You'll see. That was a... That was a wild end. That was a wild start to this Grand Finals. Okay. That was like 30 seconds? Yeah, he was pissed off about how fast all the rounds he lost to JDCR were in the Winter Final. You can't know what I'll do Get next when I don't even know what I'll battle. do next. 
I mean, this is why it's fun to watch Eye Musician, right? Round one. Mm -hmm. Fight. Duck. I cannot believe how many people have gotten hit by that today. Wow, I thought he got up into it. Good heat first activation from JD. <laughs> it's always funny when you see a Yoshimitsu spin away, lose all their health, and then get immediately hit right afterwards. Double spin, throw, switch sides back, and hold his flash. Damn, his flash setups have been on point right now. Rainbow Drop. Oh no. Wow. Round three. Fight. Wow. Dude, the late spin. JD's got two sets to work, but don't worry. He's just been, he's cold, you know? It's been a while since his winner's final. Heat dash. Rage mode and heat. Now for I Musician, what a check by JD. Good down forward one. Man, he's so smart. He gave him a second to think that he might do a low. And he's like, nope, just enough time to not. Ouch. Wow, wake up armor. That's interesting, too. I swear, a lot of times I see I'm using the spin, and I'm like, dude, you can whip punch after that, but he doesn't even go for it. So he knows. Back four is coming out. And that back four range into the down by people range is pretty silly. Wow, counter. Or is that heat? By the way, it's a launcher. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yo, I musician bringing it back. Final round. Fight. That was counter, thank you. Uh oh, Jade's going to the down back deep as force. Here comes the back force. Heat, uh, heat is early here. Pick it up. Nice conversion for I musician. Okay, he's way behind here. Still has heat that he can activate. Doesn't even go for it. If I want to flash. Moves up into rage, heat burst. Oh my god, block, no punish. Stupid ass move. Wow, look at the chip that did. No, sir. Wait, what? What a block! What a block! That was the clutchest of block. Down back three plus four. You cannot react to it. He just did it. He just said, You're gonna go for it. I'm gonna commit to this block and launch punishable. 2-0, I'm Musician. Nice comeback. Very, very nice. Yeah, that, I mean, he hasn't blocked a single down back deepest for it in the winter final or in this set. That was the first one. So they were five games in. He had zero blocks on it. Full crash down forward one. He blocked a second ago and didn't punish at all, uh, which that move is very hard to punish because you're expecting the second hit always. And so he just stops and then just you're waiting for it. Nothing came out. You're like, oh, I guess he didn't do anything. Oh, yeah, wait, I was supposed to punish that. So it's a very strange move. There's no like darts done when you block like a demo man or something for it, right? Round one. Fight. That was terrible one man. <laughs> yeah, he's get oh dude, turn off the Yoshi brain, brother! Just play what you're doing, man! What are you doing? Yoshi, you miss you players, dude! Like, all of that was so unnecessary. None of that was working. It's why he lost the first set. And he's like, you know what? I have a 2-0 lead. Watch this. Immediately loses round one. Round two. Fight. Yeah, I think Yoshimitsu, his biggest weakness is the player. <laughs> like, for whatever reason, the character Yoshimitsu makes whoever's piloting him 
uh, turn off their brain halfway through winning a set. I think the only Yoshi Mitsu player that I've seen not do that is Kane and French. Talking to them like the Green Goblin mask. Oh no. Well, this was a good game. into habit it's not even a troll it's just like they start doing all these things that are unnecessary wait wait he's got floor break and rage what do we do with this do we rage art here yeah it's not gonna kill floor break's gonna scale it tiniest pixel though i wonder if that would have killed without the floor break probably not he had too much health but yeah, so close it might have Oh, the clutch stuff. Okay, okay. Chance. Big chance. Pull it back together now, musician. Tuck the Yoshimitsu brain back into your pants. Good block. All right, a little wild standing for us. Nothing. It's cool. It's that block, JD. Convert. We're taking the floor. We are. Back floor, stupid. Good blocks. Good armor. Anyone's round. Nice timing and spacing there. JD, so patient. Wait for down for two. Still has heat here. Heat dash combo. Wait. Chance? You crazy eye musician, dude. What? Like. Some people might have ducked there, but that that is a very desperate attempt to steal the entire set, right? That's too desperate. He needs to stand up and stretch and drink some water or something, you know? It was a huge bet. If it hit... He's a genius, right? But in that instance, it's actually not too crazy of a thought because JDCR had just messed up his combo that would have killed. And so in Eye Musician's head, maybe he's thinking, you know, maybe he's going to panic and try to duck this high or something Round instead. One. But JDCR was solid there. Out of range, no punish at all on whip down back deep was four. No sir. Oh yeah, yeah, it's looking rough. It's looking rough. Okay. Great both combo to the wall here. Wall boom. Boom! Into Rage Art? That's a lot of hits. It's gonna do a lot of damage though. JD Star still has Heat on. So you can wake up Heat Smash if you wanted to. Wow! Don't try anything. What the hell was that hitbox? It was just like the whole screen exploded. He's getting crazy. Okay, I like it. We're going to like level three Yomi now. Pick it up. Okay, I'm musician. What? So oh, the tech cat that was sick. I was wondering what he did there. All right, all right. Reset point. I'm musician. Third hit. Punish is good. Get some activate heat though. Maybe that was JD's intention. I don't know. The flash. That's such a good choice. I'm just 
spinning away from the heat first. He smashes late. Dragonfly throw for the reset. Here we go. Reset Grand Finals 3 to 1. I musician over JDCR. JDCR, he's getting older. You know? It's getting late. It's past his bedtime. Is he out of stamina? Come on, JD, wake up. But also, come on, I musician. Where did the Oshimitsu? People need to know how dumb this character is. <laughs> he played that very well, though. He played that very well. He came out the gate swinging. Um. Great adaptations, too, throughout the set. A lot more low blocks in this set than he had in the winner's final. And I think that was a very big differentiator here. Like, the clutch low block he had in the down back deep was four was important. Uh, so, that was super helpful. You'd want to sleep now? Alexa, what time is it in Korea? 11.59 p.m. 11.59 p.m. PM right now. It's a late night out there. Round one. It's midnight. Five Game on. Seven. For me, it's almost 8 a.m. Das Boots. Thanks, company. Counter it down. With you. So stupid, man. So stupid. <laughs> the move. Sir, spins good. Back to two. Heat engage. No health to get back though. JD challenges. Flash. I don't think so. Back two. He got him. Counter. I musician has the lead in the set. This is turning into one of the craziest ATLs of all time. In the same tournament, we had Knee, Kudon, Lohai, CBM, John Ding. None of them made top eight. Most of them didn't make top 32, it felt like. Got him with the tackle. Keep me the health back. All right, all right, here we go. Round of peace. I love the music on the stage. Counter it. Silly, silly. Dump. Fantastic ATL to watch. This man. So out of the full crouch, I Musician is committed to the low block. So JDCR might look to punish with the mid. Out of full crouch fake. The spins have been working. Put the sword away. One plus two throw. Hey, Rage Mode I Musician. Down back to the four. He tried to flash after it. No go. JDCR. Who gains the lead in the set? Low conversion out of drag fight again. One for two throw. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Get blasted. Oh man. Bitrate is chugging. Holy damage. All because he didn't break one throw. That was a throw that did like 60%. Oh, he tried. It's over. Whoa, whoa! Got the wall splat. I'm musician. What are you gonna do with it? Tornado off the wall. Down back threes. He still has heat. There's the smash. Okay. Dragonfly throw. We're all caught up. I musician. Spinning. Back to two. Woo! He baited the rage art. That was so good. Give me that health. Final round, game one. That was tight. That was tight. That was so good, actually. Yo, I'm musician. They both want to win. I love it. The spins are so good. Suicide, I don't think so. Good patience, JDCR. Puts the sword away. Yo, I'm musician. The flash. He's going to get the first game. Unless he drops the combo. Okay, finish the combo. Be smart about it. Tornado, heat. Keep it simple. Hey. I musician 1-0 reset grand finals. Oh my goodness. The rage art bait was so good. Damn, that was good. Man, I mean, think about the presence of mind in that situation. 
to do that and fake it out just so that you would make your opponent try to rage art you. And not just any opponent, JDCR, right? He put himself in a situation to make JD think like, oh, I better rage art. And then he blocked it. That was tight. After all that damage and comeback was crazy, dude, that was insane. That was the same round that started with JD landing the throw, right? For the floor blast. And now we get the floor break stage. I always forget the names of these stages. It's still like too early in the game's life. I know it has something to do with like your mind or something. It's like uh, schizophrenia or something, you know? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not the name of the stage. Down by people's four into up four or three. You try to go airborne. Depth of insanity. It's something like that. No, sir. Oh, okay, he's getting too crazy. Too much Yoshi brain now. Descent into subconscious. That sounds good. We'll go with that one. Bro. Turn off the Yoshi brain, dude. Round three. Fight. You wonder if this will be Forgotten Realm? It is, of course. It's already last week. Okay. JD's going crazy. I mean, this is what the winner's final step looked like. This is what JD's matches throughout the entire day look like. It's just when this we, when the grand final started here is when I Musician came out swinging. And then after I Musician won the first game, he immediately went back to like, oh yeah, wait, I'm Yoshimitsu. Check out my Yoshi brain. Smoked. Now that was a JDCR game. One apiece. Like, I don't even... It's hard to give JDCR credit for that game when I Musician is playing like, you know, that. <laughs> you know? Uh, but yeah, good job, JD. You got that one. One apiece. <laughs> Rip, if you participated, you think you could have made it to quarterfinals or semi? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not even close. Not even Get close. The There's a reason battle. I just commentate, you know? It's because I suck uh, compared to these guys now. You know, maybe like 15 years ago, sure. It was a chance. Nowadays? We'll just talk. Counter, down back three plus four. Maybe I Musician is one of those, oh my God. I was gonna say, maybe he's one of those players who needs to be losing to really try. Heat smash is coming, Night Musician. Don't get hit by it. There it is, double spin. Oh, and he ducked the high. JD, that was a big mistake, dude. But now what? 50 50. That was pretty cheap, Night Musician. Nice down for the one check. The straight up no is so real. I mean, it's very, very, very true. <laughs> it's duck. Come on, man. What a flash. Hey, hey, look at the damage. Ooh, he's standing on his sword. And he's spinning. Don't get too crazy. Turn off the Yoshi brain. Watch out for heat smash. It's coming in a second. Here it comes. Oh, didn't even need to heat dash is better. Woo! Down back deep was four. It's coming. Didn't even need it. Smart stuff, JDCR. Wow, they're both playing very momentum based right now. Uh oh, counter. We're going this wall right here too. Tornado. Man, Yoshi's oh guard break. Heat dash combo. That is so cheap, dude. Why doesn't he do it every time? I don't understand. Good block. Yo, and JD had the presence of mind to actually full punish that. Generic lows like that are launch punishable now, and JD was so ready for it. JD can hella win here. JD can hella win. The Dead Knight Musician is not ducking down for 1-3. And JD is gonna steal it, dude. 
huge, huge mistakes. JDCR did down for the 1-3 twice in this game so far. The first one, High Musician didn't duck. He just blocked it, right? This time, JDCR delayed a little bit, and he's got countered. I think in the winner's final, he also counter hit it with them. So it's been like a couple times. And that move, it's, it's like one of Dragonov's oldest moves. Duck it, guys, dang it. Oh my goodness. I'm just spins himself in a rage. It's looking over. Nice try. Try to heat smash the spin. It's over. It's over. Two to one. Yeah, you know, when you're not avoiding down for one three and your opponent recognizes it and it starts taking advantage of it, that is a huge problem. JDCR one game away from winning ATL day number three here, 2024, season one. Mm hmm. Can you avoid that guard break? You can stay on the ground and take the ground and hit. But if you're tech rolling, you're going to get broken or get hit. It's cheap. Three more rounds to go, and JDCR will win his first Tekken 8 ATL event. Get ready for the next battle. All right. Yeah, it's very, very cheap. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand why he doesn't just go for it always. Because I think even when it's uh, grounded, it's like his most damaging combo anyway. Uh, and here comes the down back three plus fours. Oh, you want to duck? Hold this mid. It's my heat engager. Five seconds in. Hey, anyone keeping time? Nine seconds? Maybe it's an eight second round. I'm not sure. Perfect. JDCR, two more rounds. He's tired. He's old. He wants to go to sleep. It's over, dude. It's over. I musician. Remember when you turn on that Yoshi brain in game two of the reset grand finals? And here we go. Tournament point JDCR. Source we've started off. Alright, I musician. It's now or never. Wall carry, balcony. Wow. Alright, good choice. All right, I'm musician. That's the way to do it. A perfect. He's not done. He ain't done. Not yet. Spin in the side. Gets the heat engager. Oof. You got to swing back. You got to swing back. Downstairs? Yes, sir. Oh, man. But this place is dangerous. Anything can happen down here. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, he's getting crazy, man. Oh, shit. He's dead. Who oh, is, is he actually dead? Oh, he's not dead. Final round. Tournament point JDCR. Down forward two. Boom. Lead. Oh, he's getting crazy. The Yoshi Brain's in full effect. Full power Yoshi Brain. What are you doing, brother? Oh, brother. <laughs> Face first. Wall boomed yourself. We're going to the other wall. Oh, God. He's less heat. Oh, my God. He's going to die. This is the tornado here. What the sh... Okay, he's less heat. Heat dash. Rage art. Get dead! JDCR wins the tournament. Oh my god. I Musician made it interesting. That was tight though. Nicely done. I Musician got the reset. But ATL, season one, 2024, day number three goes to JDCR. Congrats, JD, with the dragon off. I Musician, two weeks in a row in the top four out here with Yoshimitsu. Polton with King, third place. Two weeks in a row, top four for Polton as well. So King Yoshimitsu, back-to-back -back top fours. And then Edge, good run today. Took out Ulsan. Uh, made it into the top four with that Huarong. Super consistent player as well. 
So well done to them. Fifth place, we had Infested, highest placing DRX. We had me here. We had Chanel. We had Lohai. None of them made the top eight. Infested did with Nina Williams. Ulsan falling off more and more each week, it feels like, with Azusena here, right? Uh, but very close there with Edge there. Two to one, went to Edge. And then Mungja and Moyel round out the top eight uh, at seventh place, of course. So nice see Moyel and Mungja making it to the top eight for once. Uh, not for once, but, you know, it's it's hard to get into these top eights, obviously, because ATL is just so difficult in general. But, man, this was a wild one. You know, Kudons, Kakoma, Ni, nee, John Ding, all those guys were in this bracket, and they all got smoked. Uh, it was rough. I mean, Ni nee made it pretty far, but John Ding and Kudons, I think Kudons went 0-2 today, which is just wild. Uh, but you can see here the schedule. We won't be back until May. So, Evil Japan is coming up end of next weekend. So make sure you guys tune to Evil Japan. That is the Master Plus event for the Techno World Tour. A lot of these guys will be there. Korea, Japan, pretty darn close. But that does it for day number three ATL. We'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one. Boom.